music will make you start hearing voices. But yes, it's totally normal to hear voices. what you're supposed to do. Oh, hello. Hello. Ladies and gents, hello, hello. Um, let me close that door quick. That's a bathroom. Y'all probably don't want to see inside the bathroom. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Boop. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Brundow. Hello, Boggs. Person. Hello, hello, Mr. Bounty Hunter Blaze. Hello. Hello to everyone. Bathroom tour never. Let's, uh, let's not do a bathroom tour. That'd be great. Uh. The Tomato. Are y'all ready, by the way, Brendow specifically, are you practicing for Saturday? Because we're, we're playing Sea of Thieves all day Saturday for the community day. So, I, of course, y'all better be prepared for Sea of Thieves. Hey, there you go. There you go. Yeah, it's it should be a, it should be a really fun day. It gets uh, I know from past community days they get pretty crazy. There's a lot of people that uh, are playing. It brings in a lot of people. In which <laughs> I think there's a lot of community days to where it like there's so many people that get in that the servers start crashing. I think that's a number. But okay, hey, did y'all watch the uh, the ARG vid? Y'all watch the reaction, the game theory reaction. That was pretty crazy. I just uploaded that, or just finished uploading. It just went live like an hour ago. But yeah, dude, that is crazy. That lore is crazy, dude. How do people freaking figure that stuff out? Jesus. All those freaking ciphers. They're like dozen ciphers that they had to figure out. And somehow they did it. Mm. That's always fun. The only way to... Uh, baby alert. The only way to uh, have friendly fire. Throw fire bombs at each other. But um, now that I know the ARG... Um, Casey's mod is kind of making way more sense here. It's kind of crazy now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> an hour. Um, well, you know what? Hey, it's good. Brendo, you're doing good. Yeah, 11 hours. Um, I am at... This is what you need to get those numbers to. I am at 365 hours. All right, you got work to do. Let's go. 
You gotta, you gotta get 300 hours by Saturday. Go. All right, all right. Are we, uh, are we ready? All right. Let's pause, Jazz. Let's go to the game. Get some inscription going. Oh, yeah. Time trouble. Hello, Will. Hello. What? Are we all ready for some Casey's mod? But yeah, this stuff, this stuff makes more sense now. What was it? Oh yeah, the dev logs. Yeah, there's, so there's 12 dev logs and we have one unlocked. And then the, the video I just uh, uploaded. So they only knew up to four. So uh, eventually... I think we'll be able to figure out a ton more lore than even what the video could explain. Is anyone ever really ready? Yes, absolutely. I am ready. I am ready right now. New run. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well that's interesting. Oh, so this is also interesting. So now... Okay, who who said that they've they beat this all of Casey's mod? Did someone say that? I thought I thought I saw someone say that they had just beaten all of Casey's mod. Um, say because I'm allowed 15 challenge points. If I put all three of these, like if I do three challenges, is that gonna unlock all three of these? Because I've com I've completed this one. So I've completed smaller backpack. So if I put all three of these on, um, basically, like, will I get the achievement for completing all three of those at the same time? Trapper's pelts cost more, which is fine. You can't reroll card choices. That's whatever. You do not start with a fish hook. That's whatever. I think we might try this I think I might try all three of these we're gonna go we're gonna go three challenges here are y'all ready cause I'm freaking ready eh. okay uh let's then the what do we what do we say in here them oh my god what, what is going on here what are you doing person okay let's go oh there we go okay <laughs> 60 hours what what is 60 hours why are you dead why are you dead at 60 hours? Oh, it took you 60 hours to beat it? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it looked like I crashed there for a second. There, here's our deck, okay. And here we go. So, no fish hook, that's fine. Okay. Hello. We got some pelts, some hair pelts. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about it uh, doing the voice changer. I completely spaced. You know what? I'm going to make a sticky note for that. Okay. Okay. Oh, where's my drink? I need my drink. By the way, mug of the day? The Grand Tetons. It's okay. Trade some belts. Ooh, 
right away. Oh, let's get the ringworm. Oh, definitely. Uh, here's when the funny, funny. I like that joke actually. What's in the mug? Coffee. Coffee this time, just coffee. But uh, yes, let's get the ringworm to kill off everyone at the camp. And then, go, what else? Maybe the skink? The adder? Maybe the adder, because he's good, he's good to add, uh, maybe take a sigil off of something. Uh, are we thinking maybe the adder? The tentacles? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about Mr. Tentacles here. Because it's a, it's a two cost. And the bell, I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the adder just for his sigil, really. Yeah, I'm going to go with the adder. They are exquisite. My thanks. You're very welcome. Okay, and now... So we could actually get something from the pack. Uh, there's the fire. So actually... You know what? We should probably go this way. A minor thing. What does the minor sigil give us? <laughs> Yes, I think the person is having a crisis. Uh, I think we want to go this way, though, for the fire. For the bonfire. Uh, so let's go that way. Yes, just breathe. It's okay. Another useful implement. Yes. Okay. Uh, some bone tokens. Okay. Or a black goat. Ooh. Um, the black goat, I'm thinking, is probably what I want to do here. I don't think... Yeah, I think the black goat's the way to go. Alright. First battle. The black goat is the goat. Yes. Wow, the ring, ringworm really sucks. Um, okay. So what do we got going on here? So we do want... Got, can we even kill the raven? We can at least damage it. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know what? Here's here's the strategy. All right, this is gonna work. Don't worry, it's gonna work. Whoops! Put out put out both squirrels, and then gotta put out the wolf over here to kill the raven. Boom! Excellent. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on in there with chat? Oh my god, baby Zerd. <sighs> Babies are going crazy over here. Oh my god. Hopefully you can't hear a ton of that. <laughs> you probably can, but... And there's our stout friend. Well... Um, okay, just ring the bell. We're doing more damage than him. This is fine. Uh, let's get out the squirrel. He's not playing anything, so let's get out Mr. Bullfrog. Let's go. And done. All right. And now, because we want the fire... Yes, the hovel man standing beside some boulders. He caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. I like me a gamble. 
If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Okay. Oh, pick the boulder with gold in it. Oh, so this is completely random. Okay, one, two, or three. You decide. One, two, three. First person who responds. That's what I'm going to choose. I mean, he said right. Two. Three. Okay, three. Boop. Nope. No gold. It's a cockroach. Okay. Well, we got a cockroach. You know what? It's not... That's not terrible. Okay. And it did have a sigil on it. Um, but okay. Now we go to the campfire. Yes. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. Okay. Here, have some ringworm. Mmm. Keep it right here, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful. But the survivors looked hungrier by the second. Push your luck? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> the fire warmed the weary ringworm and enhanced its health. Respected the intentions of the survivor were less than pure. Oh. They didn't eat it. <sighs> now we just have a really strong worm. <laughs> I don't want this thing. <laughs> I don't want this thing. I don't want the really healthy ringworm. Man. That's unfortunate. Um. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, I think we're gonna... I think I'm gonna stick with the same strategy. I'm gonna wait a turn. And then let's pick up another squirrel. Oh, yeah, it's moving. That's fine. Want to jump over there? Boop. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, nice. Okay. And that was good placement for that raven egg. I'll be able to kill that raven egg as well. And, okay. Let's get you out. And let's get the stoat out. Boom. Boom. Total misplay. Stodal misplay. Hello. Now Valoon. Hello, hello. Uh, you are... Uh, you are new to the chat, so hello, hello. I have not recognized your name. Welcome, welcome. Wait, you had to F F5 your stream. <laughs> Why you F5 the stream? And it doesn't look like he's putting down anything else, so... Uh, what do we want to do? Just... Here, we're going to block damage with a squirrel. Okay. The next turn... We can do big damage. Uh... Wait, do I... I actually have four. Okay, but that's... Okay, that's not going to change anything. It's okay. There's another win. Yes. You'll be the translator. Okay. Dude. Y'all are crazy right now. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> hmm. Where did I place that clover? Oh, it's gone. It's okay. Um. So, what cost... Well, I, I probably just want one cost. Porcupine. I guess. Okay. I guess that's fine. And then, let's take a sigil. An average username. That pays for itself. A nice. Yeah, that is that is pretty nice. Uh, and hello, an average username. You are also new to the chat. I do not recognize you. So hello, hello. Welcome on in. Um, okay. Um, oh, I can't... I can't remove that cockroach. That sucks. Um, but, okay, we can get rid of the adder. 
And who should we give this to? I mean, okay, last time we had a stoat army and it went very well. Our stoat army went... It did really good. Um, what do we want to do this time? Should we do like a... Should we add it to the... Okay, I'm thinking bullfrog or porcupine. Just because we did stoats last time. Bullfrog or porcupine? No, you don't put it on the wolf. Why would you put it on the wolf? Which one? Bullfrog or porcupine? Frog? We're thinking the frog? Frog, maybe? Porcupine? Hello, Austin. You are also new to the chat. Hello. Hey, that's cool. We got we got new people at least chatting in the chat. Y'all might have been in the live stream before, but uh, always nice to see new people coming and chatting. More people! Hello, hello. Hello, all the new people. Uh, well, yeah, it seems to be split. Oh, dude, Austin. Yeah, yeah. What am I? Oh, my God. What am I talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. There you go, Austin. Yep. The right call. Instant death porcupine. Anything is so whenever the porcupine attacks something, it's dead. If anything attacks the porcupine, it's dead. Yep. That is that is the right play, absolutely. I I don't know why I freaking spaced that. I've done that before too. Um it wasn't with uh, a porcupine, but I did an act three with one of the cards. And it does work on the moon, yes. That is correct. Um, and what do we got here? The moon and another raven egg. Man, he's really liking his raven eggs. So, what do we want to do here? Well, we probably want to get the, the porcupine out immediately. So let's do that. Let's put it out over here. Okay. And then... Okay, he didn't play anything, so... Should we just get the stoat out? Probably. Let's do that. Just get the stoat out. Boop, boop. Dead. And... Oh, and he's done, apparently. Okay. And the bullfrog. Boop. Boop. Dead. And... I guess we'll take the squirrel to get the bullfrog out. Boop. And then next turn, that is a win. Boop. And the cockroach. Do I have four? No, I have three. That's unfortunate. That's okay. There we go. Done. Yes, loves the raven. Uh, wouldn't bullfrog army be better than a stone army? Well, yes. Yes, it would. But you missed... A, clearly, you didn't see uh, last week's live stream. Because our stoat army was... <laughs> it was pretty freaking amazing. Um, But yes, normally, <laughs> it would make sense that the, the bullfrog is better, yes. Um, what are you doing? You don't believe poison works on the moon in cases? Oh, no, it does not. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, we figured that out last time. The, uh, yeah, the moon has a stone emblem, but, but I got, um, the goose, what is it called? I got the ink to where I can remove all sigils from Leshy's side of the board. So I used the ink and removed all sigils from the moon and then I poisoned it. So that works. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Definitely after after this one, maybe go back to the last live stream. Check out that. Um that was that was very fun. Okay, we need to go back to the fire because we need to kill this freaking ringworm. So, and then that, I'd, I would rather have a regular card anyways, but pronghorn, a turkey vulture, or a grizzly. Uh, I don't like any of these. 
Damn. Huh. 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 And hello, Philip. Wow, we have a we have a lot of new people coming in here. Hello, hello. Uh, pretty rare that the moon's able to kill you. Yeah. Yeah, the moon actually seems really easy. Yeah, he always seems pretty easy. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking probably the pronghorn. I don't, I still don't really like it. But, eh. Probably gonna go with the pronghorn. Turkey vulture, like eight bones. I'm never gonna get freaking eight bones. And the grizzly again, just three blood. Obviously, we do have the goat, the black goat, but we'll go, we'll go, Pronghorn. All right, and then the fire. Okay, please eat the ringworm. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. Perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its health, said another. Um, I'm going to be really mad if we get, like, a super buffed up ringworm. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Uh. Wanna say hello? Hello! <laughs> you see? See yourself over here? There you are. <laughs> there you are. Ah. <laughs> hello, hello. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Are you getting down? Hey, you say bye. You want to say bye? Ooh. Bye. <laughs> Good job. There you go. There's the kiddo. She does that like once every stream. <laughs> Just wants to come in and say hi. Okay, back to the game. Boop. Okay. Um God, there's so many so many new people chatting. Dude, I love it. I love it. Uh hello, hello to everyone. Um, I missed it. If, uh, uh, da, 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 da. talking about nerves before the first boss, uh, da, 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 da. pray for nine. Let's not pray for nine. <laughs> Is there a new painting puzzle? A painting puzzle? Wait, what? The painting? Good against the angler. What are we? What are we talking about? Painting. Oh my god! A person is. You are crazy. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> this would be risky. Uh, please, please eat it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> Dude, I have a zero nine ringworm. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> They don't want to eat my freaking ringworm, dude. <laughs> the bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Hello. Um, I guess this first one really doesn't matter, does it? Um, what is what is in our deck? What do we got? What are we buffing? Does the does the porcupine not have oh god the porcupine doesn't count as anything. So then what do we want to do? Maybe wait, and is the snow the stoat isn't a canine? The stoat doesn't count as a canine? That's unfortunate. I have the most bugs. That's kind of dumb. Ugh. Ugh. 
Stoat is, is a rodent. Okay. And, ugh, man, I don't know. I might, I might, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the reptile for now. I'm just going to take the head for now. The old woman collector pieces and shuffled off. Because I, I don't really know. Like, it's, yeah. Oh, and actually, this is interesting. Yo, we're starting with the trapper. Our first battle is the trapper. We took in the familiar sights and scents of the trapper's pets. But something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. Best song in the game. Best song in the game. And yes, it randomizes. Okay, I didn't I didn't know that because my first run, uh everything played out exactly the same. I went minor what was that minor angler trapper. Um no squirrel head in Casey's. Okay, that's good to know. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Um, this isn't a mod, no. Um, well, it's it's called the Casey's mod, but it's not it's not actually a mod. It's a it's a DLC for the game. Yeah, it's an it's an endless. It's like playing Act One endlessly, is is all it really is. With uh, a little more balancing with the cards. Um, so, okay. I do want to try and make sure that my cards die off. Or at least some of them do. Let's see. Ooh, actually. Okay, the, the pronghorn could be really good here. And I can sacrifice the smoke. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Okay, this is actually going to be kind of tricky. So I'm not sure how I want to play this. A strategy, okay. I have a strategy. All right. Whoa! He played a rabbit. Um. Actually, I'm not gonna die, am I? I'm not gonna die, right? <laughs> I just noticed the strange frogs do damage. Um. I don't think I'm gonna die, right? Cause what's what's gonna happen here? He's gonna move that way. I'm not gonna die, right? Am I gonna die? Oh no. Okay, my strategy failed because I think I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Unless I can, uh, I, need, I need to block some damage. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Um, th okay, so this is my plan, because I know the pronghorn can kill the traps without dying. Um, but I also want to make sure that I get pelts for the second phase. Um, and I do, have, I do have the items, yeah. I know I do have items. Um, but this was originally going to be my plan. I was going to put out the pronghorn, so obviously I can sacrifice the smoke and the squirrel, and put out the pronghorn. I was going to put out the pronghorn right here, and then he was going to kill the trap and then do some damage, right? But then I also wanted to set out a squirrel right here so that the trap would kill a squirrel and it would give me a pelt. So that would at least give me one pelt for uh, the second phase. But if I do that, the pronghorn's going to move over here. Um, and then he'll do three damage to me, which would kill me. So I can't do that. <laughs> So my strategy already failed. So, new strategy. We are going to kill the bullfrog. Um, and I guess we can kill the rabbit too. And... What do we want to do here? 
Do I still maybe want to get the pronghorn out? Maybe I do. Here, okay. Okay, check this out too. This is this is planned, all right? This is good strategy, okay? This might seem dumb, but this is this is a strategy. He's only going to do one damage to me if I do this, okay? Okay. And now we can do this. We're going to take a squirrel. Um and we'll actually be okay here. Total misplay. I don't think so. <laughs> um it's not GG. Don't worry. Yes, it was a nice play, actually. <laughs> and now, here's the new play, because... Um, I'll show you what's going to happen. I'm going to put out the squirrel here. Porcupine will kill the rabbit. Then, the pronghorn is going to do one damage to him, and that's going to kill the trap. The trap is going to kill the squirrel. I'll get a pelt. Then, it'll be his turn. He'll do one damage to me. Or wait. No, he'll actually do two damage. Ah! Because the pronghorn's gonna move over here. So he'll actually do two damage. And that would kill me. Damn it. Damn it. Um. Okay, let's pull out a tooth. <laughs> Okay, now we're okay. Now we're okay. <laughs> okay, got a pelt. He's gonna move. He does the two damage. We're all right. Yes. Hey, <laughs> we're on the same page. I like this. I like this. Um, and then yeah, and I was I was thinking block with the with the. Um, with a squirrel, but I'm going to save it for now. Um, here's what I'm going to do here. Because again, I want to keep getting pelts. So, he'll do one damage. The pronghorn will kill this guy. And then he won't move. He'll get stuck on the squirrel. And that'll turn into a trap. And then the following turn, the pronghorn will kill it and kill the squirrel. And this guy will do the one damage... Which will keep me alive from the strange frog. So, let's go. Right on. Got the one damage. He's going to do one damage back. Now, now what? What do we want to do here? Might take a regular card here, because I'm not planning on putting a card against the strange frog yet. Um, so yeah, let's take a regular card. Got the bullfrog. All right. And now again, we'll be okay. Because we're just trading right now. Got another pelt. Now the pronghorn's going to move. But now we're in a very good position because he'll do the one damage, but we'll start... We'll do three damage next turn, next turn, so we'll start, we'll come back now. Um, do I maybe want to put out the bullfrog? Or the stoat, maybe? I'm thinking I might actually put out the stoat. Um, just to start getting some damage in here. Um, and then I guess it doesn't really matter if the... If the stoat dies, it's kind of like, eh. <laughs> I'm sorry, stoat. This is not your run. Your run was last time. But see, we every time I look over, we are on the same page. Kasai? I'm going to guess that's how you pronounce it. Kasai. We are on the same page. Um. Oh, you think so? I guess we'll, we'll find out, Philip. And Bob the Builder, hello. Hello, hello. Um. And 
what do we want to do? I'll probably just pick a regular card. For right now. I'm just going to clear out my, uh, my regular cards. And then, uh, like, do I want to play the bullfrog? I don't know if I want to play anything, though. I might. I don't think I will. And now he moves. So we're good there. Then... Um, the trap's gonna kill the stoat, but that's alright. And then, we're not gonna win, right? now. I might want to play something. Let's do this. I'm gonna play the squirrel here, just so my pronghorn doesn't move. Um, but okay. So, and there's, there's our third pelt. So we, we're gonna end up, we're gonna go into second phase with four pelts. Which is awesome. I'll take another regular card. And then... Okay. Boom. Boom. Kill that frog. Alright. Next turn is... Then... Second phase. Excellent. Yes, PO3 gave him. Um... Well then, yes, the stoat was a 1-3. And yes, your boy got nerfed. <laughs> but, if you check out uh, last week's live stream, the stoat got super buffed. Super buffed. <laughs> um, does anyone know? Maybe someone can go back and look. What was the final stats of my stoat? In which I had, like five stoats. <laughs> but what was the what was the final uh what was the final stats of my stoat? Ah, it is the end of my turn. <laughs> yeah. Let's trade. Okay. Then he gives me a free pelt, so we have four pelts. I hope you brought pelts. I did. Because these creatures are prepped to rip your throat out. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that, but okay, I guess we wanted a raven egg. Okay. Um, and now, can we win? If I take out his front line, can we win? It might be possible to win if we take out his front line. Should we just do that? We could do that. Let's take out his front line. Mm, very well. And then, yeah, we should be able to win, right? So, well, yeah, because I can definitely get, I can get the wolf out. Um, yeah, this should be a win. So, let's do this. So, I'll put out the squirrels, and I'll get the wolf out. Put him down, and then... Oh, you know what? I messed up. I should have put the wolf over here and the mantis over here. I missed one damage. I could have done one additional damage, but I failed. I failed the run. The run's over. We failed. We failed. <laughs> Start over. I have to quit. I have to quit. Your lives are restored. But okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Uh, how's the Fallout New Vegas playthrough going? Oh, hello, hello, <laughs> random. Uh, yo, it's going well. Actually, um, we're recording. Uh, I'm going down to Prim tomorrow <laughs> to record uh the Prim episode. Uh, yo, I'm I'm, dude, I'm gonna love that New Vegas playthrough. Um, but yeah, recording the prim episode in prim tomorrow. Um, you can actually, you can totally win since the cockroach. Oh yeah. Infinite sack. Oh yes, it is actually. Uh, da, 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 da. at least a slime stoat for a rat. I don't know. I don't know what that is. End stream start. Yep. End the stream. We have to start it from the top. <laughs> oh yeah. I forget. Uh, yeah. I forgot to look at the cabin. Yeah, I did that. I did forget to do that.
I had three stoats. Um, I had an 8-8 eight, eight stoat. Did I actually have an 8-8 eight, eight, eight stoat? But okay. I thought I had, um, I thought two of them were four eights and then a four six. And actually, I thought I had four stoats. Um, but okay. Maybe, maybe a, a four eight, a four eight, and a four six, and all of them had field rat sigil. Yeah, those were freaking crazy. Um, hello, Lima Bean. Hello. Uh, I do not know Tamar, but, uh, I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, welcome. Hello. Hello, Lima Beam. I have not seen you in chat before. Hello. Hello. Choose carefully. Let's choose. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? The douse. Hey, I know what the douse is. No. Hello, friend. Um, hey, I know what the, the douse is now after uh, that. Um, after our ARG video. But OK, boom. <laughs> Plus corpse eater. Oh, hey, that's a cool, that's a cool combo. I haven't thought of that combo before. I kind of like, I like that combo. Um, how did Ouroboros get nerfed, by the way? Because didn't it always start as a 1-1? One -one? I thought it always started as a 1-1. One -one. Oh, yes, I know. Where are we going? Hmm, I'm not used to announcing this one. Are you right? Have you tinkered with the order of my maps, Casey? Very well. The sun rose over the sleepy firs. Birds fluttered across the paths of wolves and elk. You are embarked upon the woodlands. Oh, hey. Okay, so this is the area. Okay, so I started in... Wait, where did I... Where did I start? Did I start in the mountains or the wetlands? Anyways, this is where I was supposed to start. Okay, and yeah, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Look around. So, what were the times? It was four, correct? No? Was it 11? There we go. 116. Okay. Um. Oh, and that's right. Oh, that's right. Um, we need to create a character. So, this is the character that we left off with before. This was my character. He was the Monopoly guy. We played the Monopoly guy last time. Um, if y'all know what this is, you can all let me know. We can choose a different character. Also, second thing. Should I put in 116 or should I put in 273? Which one is better? And then what do we get? <gasps> we have a ringworm. <gasps> and actually, well, wait, no, I don't have a raven. I don't have the raven egg. But I do have a ringworm. Okay, gave me the record I already have. Okay, so don't worry. Okay. And yes, I did do 116 last time. So don't do 116 this time. Put in 273. And that's locked. No teeth. Can't do anything. Can't release the wolf. No candles. And oh my god. Person, a person's just over here freaking... He's over here trolling. So is 273 what I need to do? 273? Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, person is struggling out here. Uh, two seven three. Okay. Two seven three. Whoop. 
What is this? Hello? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Well, you know what? I, if I could eat it, I would eat it, but I can't eat it. So, you know, that's the thing. Okay, who are we going to be this time? Um, Should we be... We could be like a crazed wizard. Uh, what do we want? Holding the pencil? <laughs> oh, there's his cape. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. What do we want? Oh, there we go. That's a nice little wizard. Okay. I like his wizard robes. We're gonna be we're gonna be a wizard. Rock monster? Uh, the reason Orbos was... Oh, I did miss it. Thank you for repeating yourself. Thank you. Uh, because his stats were set to 1-1 every run. Oh, oh, well, yeah, okay. Well, it's... Yeah. That's... That's to be expected. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go with, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with... I think this seems like the crazed wizard. I'm gonna be the crazed wizard for this one. We'll be a uh, bounty. Maybe we'll be a uh, rock monster next time. Remind me next time. We'll do rock monster. <laughs> buddy, buddy went. I wonder what, what is the, what does the pencil look like? <laughs> Should I be the wizard with the pencil? <laughs> Should I be the wizard, the actual wizard with the cape or a wizard with a pencil? Which one? And also, does does the the meat just like not do anything? Okay, we're going with the pencil. Does the meat? Uh, that was just uh, I just got like trolled. I'm pretty sure. Um, and am I? Am I ever going to figure out this code? Bottom code? Is it even possible to figure out the bottom code? Meat doesn't do anything. That's nice. You replace Magnificus with your ascribed tool is a pencil. Yes. It's just an Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um. Okay, well. I guess we'll... That got weird. You can get it on the normal game, too, if you use the code early. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, okay. My mage has a pencil. It's just the paintings now, okay. So, Trial of Bones. Trial of Kin. Or, they need three sigils. Ugh. These all suck. What are the bones? Five bones. Dude, I don't even have a five bone. There's not even a... There isn't even a five bone. What, <laughs> what is this? <sighs> Dude, this is bad. I guess sigils? Sigils is... <sighs> sigils is the only thing here. Okay. Wisdom. There's two! Three. Got it. Nice. There we go. Alright. We passed it. That was kind of lucky. A beehive. That's not... Terrible. The moose buck. That's... Nah, that sucks. 
<laughs> the imp oh yo 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 you all see that right <laughs> a freaking yeah a freaking magpie opossum yo well thank you random creature um and actually yeah let's let's see if we can finish our totem hello woodcarver she moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age underwater or bees and it's when it's struck you get a bee i mean that's not that's not terrible it's better than the the waterborne i think i mean that's not that's not terrible the bees are okay yeah bee toad <laughs> our bees are gonna our toads are gonna spawn bees that's what's gonna happen and yeah, that's not that's not that's not terrible. That's all right. You got reptiles and bees. That's our combo. You hunched down to place your offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Goodbye. Okay. Let's go. Next battle. Ouroboros. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo! I didn't even think of that. Ouroboros is getting bees. Oh, that's cool. I like it. And then our freaking ringworm. God. <laughs> we have a zero nine ringworm. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Jeff. Oh my God. Jeffrey Bezos. Okay. All right. What are we doing here? What do we want to do? We got a raven and a skunk. Hmm. Well. Hmm. And the raven is just going to fly over stuff. So you know what? Since he's going to fly over the porcupine, let's put the porcupine down there. Porcupine will be able to kill him next turn. Map. And then... Let's try to get Ouroboros out. Um... So I'm just gonna end it. I killed the raven. Ooh. Hey now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wait another turn and then get Ouroboros out. Oh, or wait. What am I? What am I? Okay. I can get out Ouroboros right now. Okay. Um. Oh, but oh, Ouroboros can't die. I can sacrifice him though. Um. So what do we want? Where do we want to put them? I guess we want to put them over here. Because we don't want them in front of the skunk. We want them to at least do some damage here. Okay. Uh, and his bees will be unkillable? Wait. Will the bees be unkillable as well? Yeah, and right side was really my only option. Are the bees unkillable? Are they really? Yo, that'd be a that'd be a pretty interesting experiment. Um And we're just at this point we're just trading. Um what do we want to do here? Do I just want to take a regular card here? The stoat. Okay, let's do this. We're going to sacrifice you. Put the stoat down over here. He's now a 2-2. Two -two. Ilya. And then... Alright. Dead. Go away, stoat. And then, let's get some squirrels back. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. 
No, no, no. We ain't taking no olive branch, buddy. I'm going to get out. I want to get out my freaking Ouroboros again. Now, get the Ouroboros out again. And bop, bop, bop. And bop. And let's keep doing this. Am I? So I'm only gonna do two damage. I wanna, I wanna try and sacrifice the Ouroboros a couple times here. What can I do here? Actually, I can, I can do it right now. Let's do this. Sacrifice. Put the ringworm out, and then. Put the squirrel out. Sacrifice, sacrifice. And put the Ouroboros back out. Okay. Up, up. So it's now 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty good. And then... Our beautiful bullfrog. And that's gonna be it. So that's fine. I could sacrifice him one more time. Is it important for the teeth? Do I care about the teeth? Actually, here's my plan here. Here's my plan. We can do this. Sacrifice. Put the bullfrog out. Then, we can get Ouroboros back out. Pop, pop. There we go. There we go. See, that worked. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, definitely farm Ouroboros a bit. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Sacrifice fix. Sacrificed sacrifice. It is not a bug totem. I think it's working, right? It's working. Ooh, there's our goobert friend. Uh, I think we definitely want to go this route. Uh, but let me catch up on chat. Um, I'm missing. I'm missing some stuff on chat. Let me. I need to catch up here. Um. Da, 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 da. And no, if if you sacrifice uh, by sacrificing um, Ouroboros, that's not doing damage to him. You only get bees when you do damage to him. Um, but da 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 da. Pretty sure the bugs and rabbits like, uh, when they spawn. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> An insect totem for infinite bees. Da, 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 da. Sacrifice, ba 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 ba. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Duplicate and fuse Ouroboros. That would be pretty cool. Has anyone ever done that? Is it possible to find more than one Ouroboros? It's probably not even possible. Maybe it is. Maybe you could have more than one Ouroboros. Um, but okay. I got caught up. We're going this way. Because we have to find our Goobert friend. Oh, black goat. That could be good. Another adder. Or a warren. Huh. I mean, maybe the black goat. The black goat could be good here. I um, mean, he could at least make sure Ouroboros got out. That could be a thing. So I can make sure Ouroboros could get out with, um, with one blood instead of two. And then maybe two, I could, I could then think about, you know, it, it would be okay to then get a three blood, uh, creature. And actually, I can't remember who said it. Someone said to change the music. Thank you. Cause this is, this is nice. I like this new music we got going on here. The Warren on Ouroboros. Eh. I don't think so. I think I'm going blackout. Um, the rabbit would be unkillable. I mean... Eh. I'm thinking... Hello, Power Sun. I haven't seen you in a little bit. Hello, hello. I, yeah, I missed it. Uh, you were the, you've already been... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> You've already been chatting, but I didn't realize it was you chatting. But uh, hello, hello. It's been a minute. Let's go chat with Goobert. Hello, buddy. Oh, no. What should I paint for you? Hello, Goobert friend. Let's see. Ah, uh, he can't, you know, he can't, he can't paint Ouroboros. That's unfortunate. That's so sad. Maybe the opossum. I think the opossum could be good. Just because of the magpie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the pronghorn could also be okay. Porcupine could be okay. We have some decent cards. I'm thinking the opossum though, actually. Hmm. You think the cockroach, huh? I mean, that is, that is, as long as I have four bone, that is an infinite sacrifice. Uh, something that we have, something that produces. Yes, yes. We did, we did figure that out. Um. And yeah, he does sometimes swap sigils. So I think we figured this out last time. Um. The health can go plus or minus two. Um, the attack can change plus or minus one. And then he can swap the sigils. But I'm actually thinking, I, I think the opossum in this, in this case. Let's see what you can do. I will paint your card. Okay, let's see how you do. Hey, yeah, I do like it. You know what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I like it. I do like it. I do like it, Goobert. Very good job. Very good job. <laughs> Thank you, Goobert. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't think it could, I don't think they can go to zero. I should, <laughs> I can probably clarify that. I don't think you could have a zero. You might be able to have a zero attack, but I doubt you can have a zero, um, uh, zero health. But, um, we got a pretty good hand here, because I think I'm going to get Ouroboros out immediately. Um... And if he wants, he could. Yeah, so let's let's do that. I'm just gonna get out Ouroboros immediately. Put him down there. Nice. And I got a B. Uh, that is a one-one. Uh, let's see. Do I want to get the stoat out? What do I want to do here? Maybe not. I just get out a squirrel. Um, and I don't want to win yet. I don't want to win yet. So I'm gonna put the B down, and I will. I will put the stout out over here because I'm not gonna win. Oh. That's what I meant to do. <clears throat> that was calculated. I planned that. <clears throat> uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. 
Um, is there something... Is there a sigil that I want to sacrifice? Maybe the black goat? I don't really know if there's a sigil I want to sacrifice other than maybe the black goat. Like putting putting the black goat. I mean that could be actually that could be pretty cool. Put the black goat sacrifice on like an opossum. But is that really worth it? Why I'm thinking this is because I can actually get it. Wait, can I get a new item? I can. Um, I th I'm almost thinking I'm gonna go this way. Um, because I can get a new item and I can just grab more cards, in which I kinda do want to keep adding cards. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> uh, the game has to give you a one cost card at the start of the match. Okay, it does. You know, we were if if that is true, Power Sun, we were trying to figure that out, um, last time, uh, last week, within Casey's mod. Um, cause someone did mention that, hey, we, like, we're thinking, oh, the game has to give you a one cost card on turn one. And that is true? Okay. Then, yeah, that's, okay. That's really good to know, actually, that it's not completely random. Um, on one part is more consistent than two bone. This is, uh, yeah, this is true, Loon. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, a bullfrog, an ant queen. Oh my god. I don't like that. Let's. I'm gonna get another bullfrog and then maybe we can run into the mycologist. And then let's pick up another item. You may cut up one of the cards. That's good. I like that. I think I'm gonna go with the scissors here. I like the scissors. Cause we could get the bones. I think I think the scissors are good. Bullfrog army. We could. Good. But yeah, let's go scissors. Okay. Totem battle. Ooh, stinky uh stinky elk. That's where we're going with, huh? We got some stinky elk. A stinky pronghorn. Okay. Uh, and there's our opossum buddy. Got our two opossum buddies. Ooh, and he, uh, so he's gonna negate my porcupine. That sucks. Um, but. Oh, actually, you know what? No, you're not. I have a, this is a, okay. Strategy. Strategy. All right, all right. Dead. Get out of here. <laughs> Stinky beaver. Um, and then... So he's got the fawn. So that's gonna stop, stop the porcupine, which kind of sucks. Um, you know what? This isn't terrible, though. Okay, let's go squirrel. Because he's going to move over here. So my bullfrog can kill him. And then... Yeah, sure. Let's play this. Let's put out the opossum. And... Probably Ouroboros. Let's get you out, buddy. And he's got a dam. Oh my god, am I... Yo, yo, I didn't even think about this. Dude, the dams. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Dude. Dude, these are possums, man. <laughs> I mean, what do I want? Do I want to. I'm going to pull this up. This you know what? That means this opossum. Oh wait, well, okay, that was gonna happen anyways. But still, yo, 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 dude, I, I'm possible. Dude, this is gonna be the opossum part. <laughs> the opossum party. These opossums are just gonna freaking wreck havoc. 
Um. Okay, I'm almost thinking of how can I... I'm almost thinking of grabbing the cockroach um, to help me continually put out Ouroboros, though. I'm thinking... I'm almost thinking the cockroach is the play, because I can get... Just to try and buff up uh, my Ouroboros. But... Okay. Oh, and that... That is good to know. The uh, the uh, the dam cannot be sacrificed. But okay. Pop, pop, dead. Pop, dead. And what do we want here? Uh, so I, yeah, I can't get rid of the dam. The dam's just gonna sit there, which kind of sucks. I can't really... I mean, I could win right now, but would I want to? I could win right now if I put out Ouroboros. But... I don't think I want to, do I? Hmm... You've never even realized the game tells you when a card can't be sacrificed. Yes. We did learn that last time, yeah. This, this symbol says cannot be sacrificed. And then obviously these ones, that means they can be sacrificed. Uh, would the ants that also work on dams? Giving you more ants. Probably. Probably. Um, I'm not sure what the... Would the field mice give you another dam if it's on the dam? That, <laughs> that would be interesting. Also shows that it cannot be sacrificed, the dotted line. Oh, well, okay. Well, that would be new, too, if if that was true. Uh, the Warren originally had the appearance of a non-sacrifice card. You could still sacrifice it for some reason. Oh. Okay. We're learning, we're learning all sorts of fun facts here. Um. Anyways. I don't know if I want to win right now. I almost want to try to buff up Ouroboros again. So, I'm on my- oh, oh, dude, we only have one freaking bone, though. Hmm. Okay. We're okay here, so let's- Let's just do this for right now. Um. Okay, let's get out another squirrel. Are we- uh, uh we're gonna win. We're gonna win, though. No, we don't- we- we won't win. We won't win. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Pop, pop. Pop. And then... The cockroach can actually come out. I might- Yeah, let's put out- yeah, let's put out the cockroach. Pop. Just cause we can. Okay. Now, he'll kill the dam. Okay. And now... Do we want... Another... What do we want here? Okay. A pronghorn. I can't... Ugh. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how I can maximize damage. I'm trying to think of how I can maximize damage while also sacrificing Ouroboros again to buff him up. In which You know what? I think we can do this. Okay. So here's the play. We'll do this, we'll do that. We'll put him here. Ah! Oh! I forgot about the stink. Dang it. Um. You know what? We don't we don't have to lose yet. Or 
we don't have to win yet. Let's just do this again. <laughs> and we'll put Ouroboros here. And then we can sacrifice him again next turn. Up. Okay. <laughs> and now, uh, let's see. What do we want to do? A black goat. Okay. Well, pop. Pop. And then, pop, pop, pop. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> maximizing damage. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're buffing up Ouroboros and maximizing our damage here. Um, there are mods from Grimora and... Oh, yo! Power Send, there's mods for Grimora and Magnificus. Yo, that's... Dude, I want to I wanna play those. I might have to check out those mods. Uh, yeah, those those dams are good. Good dams. Uh, originally, there's no limit. I'm giving a card, sigil... Oh yeah, there. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, three sigils. I think three sigils are the max now. That was the manliest. Uh, I don't know what the uh was. <laughs> I don't know how I went. Uh. <laughs> um. Do we call first version? I misfired. I don't think I misfired. No limit to sigils. There's no limit to sigils. Are you sure? I thought there was only three. I thought the max was three. A um, couple of patches. Myco coming up. Oh, my college is coming up. That's good for the bullfrog. Grimora mod. Yo, both of them. I love. I freaking love to Grimora's and Magnificus's battles. I mean, Magnificus was just that was freaking Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> right there. Uh, oh, when I placed the pronghorn. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was fine though. I made up for it. Sacrificing the cat. Yes, I do know that. I do know sacrificing the cat. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Okay. Hmm. I mean, we could potentially take a three because we do have the black goat. Um. One or three. One or three. I think it's okay to have a one three cost card in your deck if you have a black goat. Otherwise, I otherwise yeah, I definitely would have picked the one, but ah, we're going with this moose buck. I mean, not great. <laughs> Actually, I hate that card because I hate cards that move your other cards. Cards that move, just in general, I hate those. So that sucked. Well, that was well, damn. Okay. Oh, and there is the yeah, my call. Just excellent. Hello. After no long moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. I mean... That seems pretty good. The gray-haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Thank you. Thank you, woodcover. Hey! Uh, we need duplicates. One for each of us. Yes, of course. And the bullfrog. Which actually... Ex <laughs> oh my god, I can't... I, I wouldn't want to do this, though. Not with the opossum. But it's almost, I almost kind of don't want to do this with either one of these, because now each one of my bullfrogs is instant death. So I, <laughs> but, okay, I guess we're doing the bullfrogs here. Y you should, you don't want to see this. Oh yeah, if you, if you missed it, the opossum is OP, absolutely. And, um, I mean, that is a pretty good bullfrog. The dams will create copies of themselves when played. Oh, with, uh, are we talking, um, 
with my other opossum. Wait, you know the reference? Wait, I missed the reference. I missed what you were talking about. Twas the prospector. Hello, Mr. Prospector. Hell yeah, we got the opossum. Although I can't get him out yet. Um, so what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Hmm. Probably... I don't know. What do we want to do here? Do we actually want to wait a turn? Oh, wait. No, no, I can do this right now. Okay. So which way is he going to move? He's going to move right. Okay. Here's the plate. Put out the smoke and the squirrel. Then... Okay, get out the pronghorn. Boop, boop. And then we're going to put you right there. And we're going to end it. Then he's going to move over a little bit. And then we'll be able to kill the coyote next turn. And what do we want here? Probably another squirrel? Probably. We'll go with the squirrel. Put him down over here. Get the stoat out. I'm going to hold on to the opossum for right now. I know I can get out the opossum. I'm holding it. mule and that sucks the mules not gonna take any damage hmm. um let's see oh my god chat and uh, yes i don't know how you pronounce that sifty but yeah i know that they got their their playthrough was freaking crazy that's got like several hundred thousand views on that thing. Oh, the prospector is the third boss. Yeah, that, well, yeah, it seems like that could get pretty freaking crazy. I'm um, actually, I'm about to send him in the second phase, aren't I? No, no, not quite. Actually, I will if I put down another card. Would I want to? I don't think I would. I don't think I want to put him into second phase yet. That's the moose buck. Uh, uh, I can't I can't play the opossum. I don't want to send him into second phase yet. Um, I don't, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have, uh, <laughs> I don't think that too fast, too soon is going to happen. I hope, I certainly hope not. I hope it doesn't. I'm just going to leave it. Oh, oh, I forgot the mole was going to block this stuff. Oh, I would have been okay with doing that. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. That's okay. That's okay. Um, let's keep, okay, so I got the porcupine. I think I'm still not going to play anything, though. Okay, you're dead. Ah, the adder. I killed him. Okay, and then... I kind of do need the porcupine out to kill the wolf at this point. Hmm. Yeah, we can, we can do that. That's fine. It would have been nice to keep them for the second phase, but this is this is okay. A wolf cub over there, huh? Oh. Um, what are we doing? Doing all right. Might not be a bad thing if he kills the boulder. I don't think. Actually, it won't even really matter for the second phase. Huh, what do I want to do? I mean, at this point, I think I could play the opossum. Let's see. We'll pull this card. Got the cockroach. I think at this point, I'm going to play the opossum. Let's get out Ouroboros. Obviously, I'm... Wait, you know what? If he... Yeah. 
Yeah, if he kills Ouroboros, it's not going to matter. Because he's going to return back to my hand. But, okay. Yeah, this, uh, this is going to be an easy win. Like, no matter what. And another, another opossum with the freaking search thing. But, um, I can just leave it. Let's go. Pop up. Give me your pack. Thank you. Wow, that wasn't good cards. They never my mule. Sorry, buddy. Um, and what do I need? One, two. So I need two more damage. I mean, actually, this this would actually be a pretty good card at this point. Um, but what do I want to do here? I guess I'll take this. My other opossum. Um. Here, we'll just put you out. And end it. Bop, 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 bop. The wolf will block some damage. Mm, dang, nab it. You never once built a, a bone deck. I mean, it's kind of hard to do. I don't, I don't think there's enough, like, good bone cards. And then, this is second phase, correct? Yeah, so... The ringworm. My super powerful ringworm. <laughs> Just end it. Second phase. Oh, there's gold in them cards. Give me back my cockroach. Goodbye, Pokepine. Go, go, go. I've struck gold. You have struck gold, buddy. Oh, and it's my turn again, huh? Okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Obviously, I can't sacrifice these things. But all I, all I want to do here is just maybe get something that can kill that dude. Oh, my bullfrog. Hey, that's convenient. There we go. There you go, bullfrog. Get him. Uh, and then... Let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll just get out freaking Ouroboros at this point. Wait, can we? I need... I need the black coat. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. And then... More Boros. Come on out, buddy. Okay. Boop. And I guess I guess we'll just end it here. I won't overthink this. Let's just get our teeth and get on out of here. Uh let's see. What am I what did I miss? Are you aware of how the bell tentacle works? Yes, I am. Um, how many times you hit the bell, and that is the attack. Um, I, d I did know, I do know it doesn't change, because I, I was originally thinking this. I was like, oh, does if you keep hitting the bell when you've already played the card, does it keep increasing its attack? Which, no. It does not. Uh, that is not, <laughs> that is wrong? What? Then, okay, how does it work then? <laughs> How does it work then? Because <laughs> um, I have played in the in the actual game during my playthrough. I did use one of those cards. Oh, it's how many spaces away from the bell? Ah, it does four damage if it's on the far left. Three, one to the right. Okay. Does one damage on the far right. Okay. Well, I must have, when I played it, I must have like, oh, it was turn three. And then I put it in like slot, the second slot. 
<laughs> I think that so is just like a coincidence of how that worked for me. Um, and then, and then, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So it's turn three and, uh, I've hit the bell three times. And so I guess that'd be turn four. But I was like, okay. So I put it like right here and, <laughs> and then I tried hitting the bell again and I was like, oh, it didn't increase the attack. So I guess it just stays the same. Okay. Well, anyways, cool. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I have been corrected. Um, let's oh mantis god. Let's go, Mr. Mantis God. Or child 13. Wow, these are all really good. But I don't think you can pass up on Mantis God. Yeah. I don't think we can pass up on Mantis God. Hello, Zaki Man. Hello, hello. Wait, you've been in the chat. Yeah, you've been in the chat. Never mind. But welcome, because I just realized your name. Oh, yo, yo, Manus God on Ouroboros. <laughs> yo, that's, oh, yo, I'm definitely doing that. I mean, that would be it. That's game, right? That's game. We're done. We put Manus God on Ouroboros and we're done. Um, imagine if the bell tentacle was buffed, so being far from the bell would give it 4 HP. That's super good. Gimmicky. Yeah, I like that, actually. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To where it's like, maybe, oh, uh, you know what? This would be better if it was just a bell icon for both, for both the attack and the health. And then, yeah, depending on where you placed it, like if it was closest to the bell, it would be a 4-1. And if it was in the 4 slot, it would be a 1-4. So it'd be like four one, three two, two three, one four. That'd be cool. What's up with that? See, we're coming up with amazing cards. We should do that more. Man is God. Let's go. Yes, try strike Oro. Let's go. We will need another map. Yes, we shall. The wetlands. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. All right, so where's the sacrifice? <laughs> we don't need to get rid of a card. No sacrifice yet, so I guess we're going this way. We gotta pick up a card. Bop. Ant queen, bullfrog. Another bullfrog. The river otter. I mean, bullfrog's gonna be good. We're getting another bullfrog. Especially, too, again, with our totem. Um... Man, like, I don't need another item, so it, I don't need another totem piece, though, either. I mean, I think my totem is really good at this point. I mean, this would get me the, the, the rat, the pack rat. So, I mean, that could be okay. I don't know. I probably just want to go this way. Yeah, pack rat. Yeah, it would just give me the pack rat. Um, the goat, the goat on stoat. Well, we also have, we also have the opossums so that I can specifically choose <laughs> my cards. We have the magpie opossum. So yeah, I think our, I think we're invincible at this point. <laughs> I say that and then we're going to get the worst draws ever. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, too. Yeah, right side. Right side, so we have more options as we reveal the board. Because we could go left and right if we choose the right side, yeah. That is true. Go right. Not a pack rat. Why not? <laughs> you just hate the pack rat. Waterborne, but it goes under before death. Okay. We're going, I mean, we're going right. We're getting the pack rat. Your back was full, but a small critter approached. Hello. Hello, Mr. Rat. Yoink. A pack rat. Always useful. A 2-2-2 cost. I mean, it's not great. 
Okay. As as this approaches, I'm going to. Hey, got an Ouroboros right away. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss really quick. Okay, you all, you all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Boop. You all, uh, I don't know. Just look at, look at my beautiful opossum for a second. God, no, no, we're not, we're not talking about the reality, right? Legend of the flying. I can't say its name, so. <laughs> okay, come back on. Hello, we're back. Um, the bathroom door is open, but that's okay. You can't see it. If I don't move the camera, you can't see inside the bathroom. Okay. The Ureuli. Ureuli. Okay. That's probably actually how you say it. But what do we got? We got a bee and a mantis. That will... Ooh, okay. So they're gonna get stronger. Ah, okay. Get out of here. Okay, well. Um. Well, we can get the Manus God out immediately. Could just do that. Map, map, map. Okay. There you go. And put it in front of the Mantis. Yeah, you have a Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mantis god. And then, let's see. Can't get the opossum out. I need... I need more bones. Let's just end it. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Got that bee. Let's get out... Another squirrel, and then we can get our mantis, or our freaking Ouroboros out. What do I want to do with Ouroboros? Um, actually, Mantis God is going to die. Should I just win? Wait, maybe I can, maybe, maybe I can do something here. Maybe I can do something here, okay? Let's put it down over here. Um... I might be able to do something here. Uh, the black goat. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. And then... There. We buffed him up again. 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. There we go. All right. Yes, the damn god. 
Um, you discovered that mantas can evolve into mantis gods, pack rats into rat kings. Oh, yo. Actually, that's cool. Because, yeah, I know uh, we discovered last time... Actually, I don't know if it was last time or I don't know when that was. But at some point, we discovered that, yeah, the evolving, it, I mean, outside of those special interactions, the evolving just turns him into an elder that gives him plus one attack and plus two health. And yes, the ringworm is still alive, sadly. <laughs> um, and we definitely want more reptiles and adder. Okay, sure. Um... But, yeah, we still want to try and get rid of that. Well, I mean, let's try again. Let's try and get rid of this wing wor ring worm. The warm light of campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire enhance its health, said one. Oh my god. Are we about to have a freaking... We're going to have a 0-13, aren't we? Place your bets. Place your bets. Are we going to have a 0-13? Place your bets now. Place your bets now. Is he finally going to get eaten? Or will we have a 0-13 on our hands? I mean, I think we have to. I think we have to go this way. You know, I think we have to. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we got an opossum. Porcupine. Oh, okay. We're going to put the porcupine over here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Um. Actually, I can't really do anything here. No matter what I pull, I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So. Okay. Bullfrog. All right. Wait. Okay. Oh my god. I thought it I thought for a second I might have been dead, but <laughs> Um Okay. Uh well, we need the squirrel. Um let's go. So, what do we need to do here? Oh, am I going to... I think I'm going to die here. I'm not going to die. Okay. Um, if you see this, I'm, I'm, I'm about to die because I can only take one damage, right? And these guys are flying, so if I kill the bullfrog, if I kill either one of those bullfrogs, uh, I'm dead. Because the porcupine can do one damage. Um, and obviously the bullfrogs are going to do damage, but I could possibly block it. But, 
here is... Here's the strategy, okay? Oh, that's a flying too. I can't I can't kill the stump either. But okay, here's Here's what we're doing, okay? There's a strategy here, all right? There's a strategy, all right? Now we're going to put down the opossum, okay? Okay? We're going to get out our Ouroboros, buddy, right? Then There's a strategy. We're going to sacrifice, sacrifice. Put Ouroboros right there. Okay. That was the strategy. We're safe. We're safe. Nice. There we go. <laughs> see, see, ah, ah, the, the strategies. Um, oh, yes, actually, this is good to know. So if I want to set up mods like Grimoire and Magnificus, uh, you'll help you set it up. Downloads and is crazy easy. Mod manager, the functions. Um, where do you get them? Is it something I can do on Nexus mods? Because, yes, I would be very interested in doing that. Um, in doing like a Grimora and Magnificus style. Thunderstore? R2 Mod Man. Um, remind me... I'll try to remember. Um, you know what? I'll probably, I'll probably figure this out at some point. I might make videos on it, or I might live stream it. I might do both. But yeah, I could just Google it. Um, but yeah, I th that would actually probably be some really cool videos that I could do on that. And then two... Um... Yeah, we could live stream that too. Yeah, I'm just thinking of like all the options that we could do with that. There's a lot of cool, yeah, that's a lot of cool options. Um, okay, what do we want to do here? I guess we'll just take regular cars, black goat. And then I guess we, I guess we just end the turn. I'm not gonna die, so. And then now we're going to win. So let's do this. Um, okay. So here's the plan. Bop, bop. Okay, put you down. Then put you down. Get out the black goat. Get out Ouroboros, who's now an 8-8. Eight eight. Look at that damage. That's good damage. Good stuff. A lot of teeth. Also a PO3 mod. Um, I'm not... I'm not... Because PO3 was in uh, Act 3, I'm not... Um, I'm, I'm way more interested in, like, a Grimora and... Um, and Magnificus uh, act. He was stumped by the situation. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Snake. What do we got? Four blood. Possible. Five bone. Probably not. Or I think that I think we go with the sigils here again. Three. We can do that. There's one, two, three, done. Good. And our <laughs> and our zero thirteen ringworm. All right, success. <laughs> what do we got <sighs> that. Come on. <sighs> that might that might be the dumbest card you could possibly make. <laughs> that is probably the dumbest card. <laughs> yeah, that is. That is worse than the worm, I think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be the worst the worst card that you could possibly create. That's so bad. 
Because, like, oh, he's meant to block damage. For one, the flying is useless because he has no attack. Two, he's supposed to be able to, with a burrower, so when an empty space is supposed to be stuck, he's supposed to block the damage. So it's good for blocking damage. But he goes underwater, so he can't even block the damage. <laughs> like, I think this literally is the worst card you could possibly think of. It is definitely worse than my ringworm. Absolutely. Anyways, Rattler. That one also sucks, so hopefully this is good. Wolf Cub. Yo, yes. I mean, the Burrower, that sucks. That's not good. But, um, I mean, the Wolf Cub is good, and I guess that it's got Touch of Death. That's also good. It sucks that it has the Burrower on it, though, but the Wolf Cub's good. All right, do we... I mean, we have to just keep doing this, right? More health. <laughs> and I do I wouldn't be upset if maybe he was gaining attack, but no, he's gaining health. Okay. We have to we just have to keep doing it. We have to keep doing it. This is dumb. This is a complete waste. We are completely wasting all of our fire our campfires here. But this would be risky. This is this is incredible. <laughs> this is at this point I just want it I want it to be like a zero fifty. <laughs> I want it to be the highest health ringworm ever. Yeah, and Burrower would be really good on that ringworm at this point. Um until until something has instant death on it. Or or bees, yeah, bees would be really good too. So we've got Kingfishers and the freaking Coyote. So what do we got? Oh, actually, I could get the Moose Buck out right away. That Moose Buck could be pretty good. I probably will. I'm, I'll, I'll do that. I might as well. Let's get him out. And then where do I want to put him? It doesn't even really matter where I put them. Let's put them over here. Okay. And a raven. Um, and then... Yeah, I'll just get out the porcupine. Just to get rid of that guy. And then, I guess we'll take a regular card. Oh, there's our pack rat, buddy. You know what? At some point, I need to use some of these. I'll probably use the squirrel when I get the chance, but... Yeah, at some point, I need to use one of those. Um... What do we got? Uh, wait, you fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Oh, <laughs> the ringworm. Uh, yeah, Mullen is having a chest shaking laugh. Yes, he is. He's he's definitely laughing at me right now. Um, Burrow and Spikes. Ooh, Spikes could be good too, yeah. Uh, your two favorite mods are five lane. Oh, the five lane, that, that's cool. Sigils, you can play on top of other cards to pre give them sigils. Ah. Uh, let's see. Let's take a regular card. There's our Ouroboros. Can't do anything. I could pull my freaking black goat, but... 
Wait, am I gonna... Am I about to die? One... So what is he gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill that, and then the coyote's gonna come down. He's gonna do four damage. So I'm gonna do one. One, two, three, four. He's he he'll he'll kill me. He'll actually kill me. <laughs> uh well. Can't let that happen. Go, Ouroboros, go! <laughs> uh, alright. I mean, yeah, I, I wasn't even really paying attention to it. I thought I was pretty safe, but, yeah. I got close there. Trial of Kin. Kin could work. Trial of Power. That could work because Ouroboros would just hit that immediately. Or six health. Huh. Oh, yo! Let me, let me get the ringworm. Let me get the ringworm. Give me the ringworm. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on here? Really? <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Failure. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, hello, Mr. Goobert. Hello. I will paint. Yes, you will. Just like the master. Please. Um, alright. Well, what do we want him to paint? I mean, another possum? Another manus god, maybe? What are we thinking here? I'm thinking, like, maybe another possum, maybe a manis god. Black goat, maybe? And what are we thinking? The, w <laughs> the worm. <laughs> the worm. Where is he? He's not even here. I can't even do it. I, he can't paint the ringworm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He can't paint the ringworm. Rigged. <laughs> yeah, that would that would have been pretty freaking hilarious. Uh. <laughs> Bless ye. All right, but what are we thinking? What are we thinking here? You're thinking the bullfrog, huh? I mean, it, this this could be an option. The bullfrog could be an option. And we could. We could micro it later. Although it is working very well with our totem. Um, our totem is for reptiles. So, I mean, I am I am kind of thinking, yeah, the, the opossum. I am kind of thinking the opossum. I don't know. Manus God, Opossum, Bullfrog. I mean, they're all good. They're all good. You think the frog? You thinking frog? Okay. Let's see what you can do. I will give it a try. Go. Go, Goobert. Go. Go bird. Go bird. <sighs> okay. All right. And then our items are full. I don't want another pack rat, but I don't need a totem either. I guess we can just see our options. Another. Oh, wait. No, never mind. That's what I already have. Spawn tails? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I care for any of these. 
I mean, Spawn Tails is interesting, but I think I, I think I want the death one. Yeah. None of these are. None of these are very good. I, you know, I'm just gonna stick with what I got. I'm gonna go with this and the death. And yeah, this is this is the end. So yeah, no more mycologists. Do tails have sigils? They might, actually. The tails might have sigils. Now we got the angler. The angler could be tricky if he tries to freaking take my Ouroboros. The mud tugged hard at... <clears throat> Redo. Edit that out. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. Oh, and he, oh, he starts with bait buckets. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, well, we got the opossum right away. Does he try and hook a card immediately? I don't remember. So what do we got? Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay. He takes a turn to hook. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Back up. We want the porcupine. Because we don't want him to block the raven. So we'll do, we'll do that. Do we want to get both those out? Oh. Eh, no. We'll wait. Easy choose. Okay. And there's this great white buddy. Uh, um. Well, let's get another squirrel. And then maybe he'll grab the squirrel. We'll try to get him to grab a squirrel. So, what do we want to do here? Uh, hmm. Okay. Either way, we're going to put out the smoke. And then... White. Hmm. All right, ah oh man, because I don't want to. I don't want to. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and I and I misplayed the porcupine. I should have played the porcupine on like any other slot. Literally, any other slot would have been uh, would have been better than this. Um, hmm. What do we do here? Okay, here's my plan. I'm not going to do anything. Take my squirrel. Oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, I have to do something, because he's going to kill me. <laughs> so, never mind. Damn. Um. Ah, I misplayed this. You know what? No, I didn't. <laughs> Take that squirrel. <laughs> Take this squirrel. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he didn't take the squirrel. Why didn't? Oh, he. Okay, so he takes the turn. Uh, he takes the squirrel at the beginning of my turn. Okay. <laughs> uh. Um. 
And yeah, that I, I could I could just win. <laughs> I thought he was gonna hook. I I was wanting him to like hook one of my squirrels and like push back his bait buckets, so he just had like a front row of squirrels. That's what I was, that was what was in my head. I thought it'd be funny to have a bunch of squirrels on his side of the board. All right, but this it wasn't working. It's not working. <laughs> Um, we're gonna pick up another squirrel. And then, at this point... Okay. Ugh, what are we... Oh my god. Okay. Let's get the opossum out. And let's get our... Let's get our Ouroboros, buddy. Where are you? There he is. Okay. And then, I guess, I guess we just get rid of the porcupine. Yeah, cause we, we'll just win. So, yeah, cause he's not gonna hook, right? He won't hook that, correct? Let's just put this out just in case. I don't think he was gonna hook it, but let's just put that out just in case, just in case. I don't remember if what he hooks. Go fish. Okay, now he's putting out full buckets. So, we got here. I think this is still a win, like no matter what. I don't think I don't think we can lose this. Yes, go fish. Yes, yes, yes. Because now the Ouroboros, yeah, so we just, we won. We won. And I got the Moose Buck. Uh, can I? I can. I can get the Moose Buck up for some more damage. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Look at all those teeth. The Prospector, yeah, the Prospector is... Yeah, he's he's pretty difficult. Just cuz he you have to you have to make sure you don't place cards that you want to live on the first phase. Nah, we don't need to we don't need to scissor that. No, no, no. Um another pack rat. We don't need another pack rat. A gek. Hello gek. Oh, child 13. I mean, Gek, Gek is pretty good. I like Gek. I like Gek. I would be okay with Gek. <laughs> oh, uh, James, really? We don't, we don't need to do that. We're not going to do that here. We ain't no leshy. We don't cheat around here. Oh, Gek does work with the totem. Yo! Good call. I didn't think about that. But yeah, Gek works with the totem. So that's a zero cost instant death. That's a, that's a zero cost um, adder. It's a zero cost adder. <laughs> Four pack rats in your deck. All right, we're going Gek. Let's go Gek. Let's go Gek. Gex, my boy. One moment. Okay. We don't need more totems. Uh, that's... The trader. We don't have any pelts, though. So that's useless. We have a bunch of items. And so, I, I mean, this is really the only... This is really the only option. Yeah. This is really the only option. We have, we have, we have some options here. We do have some options. Oh yeah, yeah, that was our option, right? Um, sacrifice the Manus God and put it on Ouroboros, right? Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> or I could put another, or I could put a sigil on the gek. What do you think? Should I do this, or should I put a sigil on the gek? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Put it on the gag. Oh, how I relish this moment. Yes. The smoke. Two flames will not suffice this time. Boom. All right. And there he is. We got him immediately. <laughs> and the black goat. We just won. Is that a turn one win? <laughs> Yo. I mean, we're done. We beat the game. We're done. to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Cody and Burke. Oh yes, I remember that one. Yeah, they're not even gonna get on the board though, buddy. Oh hey, we got that bullfrog. You know, that's pretty neato. Neato, gang, we got a bullfrog. You know what, we better put that bullfrog out. You know, it could definitely help us out here. shadowy figures oh this ought to work again I mean you can you can try it you can try it I mean, if you really want it still works just fine hey let's go gek let's go should we put out the gek let's put out the gek I mean you'll be a good sacrifice gek you will be a good sacrifice. Your sacrifice was not in vain, Gek. We'll put out the opossum. And then we'll get... Who should come out? The ringworm! We must play the ringworm. We must met, get the ringworm out. And then... What else do we want? We want another opossum. But no, we must place the ringworm. Look at that. Look at this beautiful hand. This isn't this the greatest board you've ever seen? A 017 ringworm, an 87 trifurcated instant death Ouroboros, a magpie opossum, and a bullfrog. This is this is peak inscription. You're never you're never gonna be able to beat this. It's never gonna happen. You're not the first to triumph over the moon. But go on. Finish it. Okay. I didn't even get to use any teeth. That never even happened. It's beautiful. Gremlins, hello. I haven't seen you in chat before. Hello and welcome. Hello, hello. Victory. Oh wait, I missed the achievement. So yep, and this was, um, by the way, my challenges. So no hook, no clover, and the pelts were more expensive, which didn't even matter because I never even went to the freaking trader. So there we go. Boom. Entry number two. Ah, yes. For those of you who have seen my uh, reaction to the inscription ARG uh, that I just released today, um, we're going through the Casey's mod lore of it. 
So I woke up and damn near lost my mind. I tried to recreate that bug with the angler over and over and nothing weird was happening. Then I realized I was testing on a different disc. So I popped in the same disc as last night and holy shit, Leshy went 3D. What does that mean? I barely even know. Maybe I am crazy. The entire game is different. Leshy took over and it's 3D. I don't know anyone who would listen to me about this. That is Casey. Oh, cards unlocked. Mole man. Will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil? Yes. Also, when an empty space would be struck, Mole man will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Yes. Yes, he will. Okay. Boop. And a starter deck unlocked. Nice. Oh, blackout. Oh, that is... Ugh. That's a terrible starting deck. No. Challenge unlocked. Tip scales. Start all battles with one damage on your side. Ooh. That seems like a tough challenge. Well. Man. Oh, and it shows, and that's, that's the ice cream deck. Um, so it shows if I've completed with what starter deck. So I guess, I guess we're kind of going to have to use the, this one at some point just to check that off the list. Um, and yes, yes, I do need, um, I forgot last week we were talking about doing, um, looking at, uh, voice mod stuff. Um, so I can do the voices live, but I completely forgot <laughs> which, which happens, but yeah, I would, I would be cool to have a voice mod going. Um, but, uh, wait, don't spoil. Wait, best car. Don't spoil. Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, wait, bombs. Oh, box box. You're okay. Hey, thanks for hanging out box. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, you made it to the end. Good job. Have a good night. You'll see. Do you think there's something better we could use teeth for? Yo. Hey. Lino Pear. Hello. 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 Welcome back. Check out how many points you need for the next challenge. It's probably 20. Yes? Mole Man? Okay. Take a, take a second glance at Mole Man. He's got a red eye. Mole man? Is that... Is that why... Is that why we're... Is that why you're saying that? Because it's mole man? And I can't do anything. Can't really click him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do I use any specific voice mod presets? No. I, um, I've kind of talked about this before, but uh, for all the voices, I do them all in post-production. So, like for Leshy, I basically just talk like this. Uh, live. I do that live. But then in post-production, in my editing software, then I've literally created every voice from, from my playthrough, every voice I created that voice from scratch basically um so yeah i created all those voices in post-production so it'd be it would be a little weird trying to figure out voices uh for uh like a voice mod but it can it can be done um remember his red eyes or just remember his red eyes i mean i see his red eye I don't know what that means, though. I don't know. You're all, like, trying. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you that they sound amazing. I hope they do. I liked them. I like doing all those voiceovers. In which, yeah, I'm, I'm also, um, a goal for next week, because a goal for this week was getting out the, uh, a reaction to the lore video. But um, next week, uh, what I want to do is I want to make a compilation of every single voice in the game that I did. I want to make a video of the compilation. You don't want to spoil it too hard. I mean, is it that much of a spoiler? Is it that much of a spoiler? You you might you might just 
He might just tell me. I mean, is it that big of a deal? I don't know. It is? Okay. All right. Then I guess don't spoil it. Uh, if you're guaranteed a one sacrifice card, you could just sacrifice them all as early as possible and never get another one cost. Wait. Oh, wait. I'm just realizing the mole man, he doesn't cost anything. He doesn't have a cost. <laughs> uh Yeah, the yeah, the bird's chilling. The cuckoo, he's he's chilling. He's just chilling. <laughs> Find out next time. Um well, here's here's the thing, because normally I stream for at least four hours. I've only been streaming for two and a half. Do we do another run? Do we do another run here? <laughs> we could try and speed run it, yeah. I mean, we wouldn't even really have to, but. And you need to sleep. Well, thanks for hanging out. And thank you, Philip, for hanging out. Um, I mean, should I try this? Should I try this blood sacrifice deck? This is going to be dumb, but. <laughs> should I try it? Or what is this? Randomize? Okay, I wonder we Do I do I have to do 30 points? I have to meet 30, correct? Correct? So Yes, okay. I mean, what do I what do I even do here? Uh, well, I mean I can't I can't select everything. I don't know. This one actually a boss battles having totems almost seems hard maybe not. Maybe not. Than having one damage. Don't worry, the challenges get much worse. <laughs> uh, tip scales is pretty easy. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking that's not too difficult. I mean, the one damage there was. I mean, if you just think of my last run, there was many times where I was at negative four. There were several times I was at negative four. But. I don't I don't think that's too difficult. I mean, I feel like this could be difficult. Boss battles boss battles with totems. Expensive skins is great if you don't like the trading post. Um I mean, yeah, like the last run I wasn't even at the trading post. Keep to well, I can't even I can't even do that because it's exceeded. I mean, I got I guess I could, but I don't need to. A fish hook, the pack. I mean, the pack one is super easy. I could just do this. What do you think? Tip scales, pricey pelts, smaller backpack. Yeah. I mean, the hook the hook is cool. We can do we can use the hook. Yeah, I'm thinking this is what we do here. 
Sounds good. Replace the backpack with a hook. I mean, I, I don't need to use the items, though. That's the thing. I don't need to use the items. <laughs> I don't use the items because I don't need them. I'm still winning. Like, <laughs> I haven't lost yet. I mean, I've played two runs of Casey's mod, and I haven't lost a single battle yet. And actually, in the actual game, outside of the bears, <laughs> outside of the bears, I think I only lost twice the entire game. And one of them was because of that, like, massive misplay of the picture, if you remember that. Um, the Leshy robot. Um, to where, like, I screwed that up so royally. Um, but I think I lost one time in Act 1 as well. But it was like a... But it was... Um, it wasn't a boss. It was like a regular fight. But yeah, so anyways, so like, yeah, I don't need to use the items because I, I like, I just don't, I don't know. And the fish, the fish hook is a really good item. So I was just like, if I can only have like two items, I mean, the fish hook's a good one to have. I'm going to go with that. We're going to go with this. We're starting the run. Let's go. Done. Done. Let's go. This is going to be the dumbest freaking deck ever, but okay. Um, first off, let's see. Uh, what do we want? A magpie, a magpie and a porcupine. Okay. Well, those are both decent cards. This, that could happen. That could happen. Oh, wait. Oh, and, um, I forgot who wanted it. We need a uh, rock man. Is this rock man? Oh, Rockman, there he is. Rockman. Is that Rockman? Like, what? what is that? I don't know what that is. You look like Rock. You're not a digger. Rock, Rockman with an umbrella? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's probably Rockman. But um, I think it's kind of funny. Maybe Rockman has an umbrella. <laughs> uh, use teeth to reduce the sacrifice cost of a card. Well, that would be interesting. Hello, Maku, Maku Gamer. Okay, I guess that's what it was. Your brain hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, God, that video was freaking awesome, though. Uh, but hello. I haven't seen you in a uh, chat before. But uh, hello, hello. Welcome. Person who wanted Rockman was named. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter Blaze. And he's probably not even here. Well, you know what? Just because you're not here, Rockman is going to have an umbrella. There you go. Um, and then what was the, let's see, what was this 116? Is it the same thing if I put in 116? Is it the record again? It's okay. So we already got it. All right. Okay. We're having new music. Okay. And, all right. Cards. Uh, you should. You should watch the lower video. It is freaking crazy. Uh, the last one on the hex disc? Um, I'll, uh, I'll go back to the music here in a second. Hair pelts. Well, okay, okay. Um, since I was incorrect on the bell, what does the card counter one do? C 
Because my, my initial thought would be, oh, it's how many cards are in your hand that that's going to be its attack. Either way, though, that card sucks because it only has one health. But... Okay, how many cards are in your... <laughs> I'm actually... You're actually right on that one. Thanks. Um... Man, we got the field mice. Oh, but there is the porcupine. I should... Okay. No matter what, I'm taking the porcupine. Um, and then... I don't know, because that doesn't seem very good. Because... The one health... The one health just sucks. I mean, it is only a one cost, but... The one health... Eh... I almost kind of want to take the field mice here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking the field mice on this one. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying on that one. And yeah, I, yeah, I guess he could boost its HP. Ooh, that, ooh, yeah, that could be good. Jo three man, that could be good. Yeah, putting this on the goat, because obviously I start with the goat. That could be good. Her counter with bees and a unkillable insect totem or something like that. Yeah. Um. I'm going to go with the field mice. I will make good use of these. Okay. I hope you do, bud. And then... Yeah, let's go to the fire. Oh, and this is, this is a plus one attack. Okay. So, who wants attack? Mo uh, I could give the mole an attack. Uh, that that's actually good. I like that. I like that. You consider leaving? Those would be risky. I bet you. I bet you. How much you want to bet? I push my luck and they kill it. <laughs> I got a zero seventeen ringworm, but the very first time I push my luck on this run, it it's dead. I I freaking guarantee it. Hello, Mister Random Sander. Welcome back. Hello, hello. I don't, I don't even want to do it. Oh, welcome back, Stream Elements. I'm glad you're running. Um, to do it for the content. Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, hey. Dude, these are, these these guys don't want to freaking they don't want to eat. They do not care. They do not want to eat. Uh, what do we got? A pronghorn over here. Okay. Well, I just want to get the porcupine out. I might. Could just get the porcupine out. Hmm. Okay. We'll do that. We'll get this guy out and let's go. Okay. And then. Probably just two turns of squirrels, I'm thinking.
Okay. And then I can get uh, the field mouse out and finish off this pronghorn. Boop. Nice. And that's it, apparently. Okay. Boop. You surrender? No, no, no. We're never taking your olive branch, buddy. And then, can I? Well, I can take another squirrel here. And get some teeth. By putting out another field mice. Oop. There we go. Oh my god. Uh, dude, stream elements. What's going on? You don't have to announce all the time that you're still here. Um... How was my day? My day is going very well. Very well so far. I mean, I just got the, uh, just got that lore video out. And now, playing some more Casey's mod. Oh, and there's the, there's the dagger. Of the most exquisite pelts. Do I have, I don't, those prices are higher than I recall. The trapper was driving a hard bargain that day. First one's free. I only have two teeth. Okay. <laughs> well. All right. Uh. Yo, you haven't seen uh. Oh my God, you you almost got me there. I I thought that was Stream Elements again saying that it was running. <laughs> um. Are you just now watching Breaking Bad for the first time? Because that is an incredible show. Which way do I want to go? I mean, they're both, they're both the same, basically. Both basically the same. Uh, I can choose some cards here, though. I might go, I'm probably going to go this way. I don't know. What's my... What would I sacrifice here? Field mice, probably? Like, what would I put the field mice on? Maybe the mole? I mean, that could be good. Put the, put the field mice on the mole. That could be good. Oh my god, now you're all are doing it. <laughs> the stream element spot is running. The stream element spot is running. The stream element spot is running. Um. Wow. You, okay. Y'all are just saying you'd go right because I said left. <laughs> um. Oh, you're thinking porcupine on the mole, huh? The porcupine's a good card, though. That's just what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hello, JK02. Hello. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> A person bot is running. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll go right. All right. We'll go right. Yes, hello, Woodcarver. What do we want? That is that is terrible. I hate that. I, I I don't want my cards to move. The insect. What do we want here? We have a couple. Ugh. Dude. We just got like the dumbest freaking totems. I'm taking the reptile head. Sunny, we have to cook. Oh my god. Are you are you enjoying the new Vegas playthrough? That's what it sounds like. Insect head No way. No way. Um, what do we want? I'm glad. I'm glad, person. 
sparrows. We got sparrows. Also, I got the mole. That's good. Okay. Get the mole out. Boop. We'll just stick you right there. That mole's a... That's a really good card, actually. This is going to be the mole run. I'm going to try and get as many moles out as possible. That's a black goat. Nice. Uh, I can't do anything, though. I'm not going to die, right? No. Okay. Boop. And then... Get the squirrel out. Uh, get the black goat out. Get the moose buck out. Boop. Alright. And then... Guess we'll just take a regular one and field mice. Okay. Boop. Boop. Okay. And I guess we'll just keep going with these. And we're about to win. So let's try and do some more damage. Just to get some teeth. Boop, boop. Boop. There we go. Alright. You find that the insect head has your favorite cards. What are your favorite cards? You gonna watch Breaking Bad? Well, Mr. Saturn, thanks for coming by. Have fun with Breaking Bad. Patrolling the mu- Dead. Generates like you belong in a cross. <laughs> wow. Rude. If you fly in a fledgling symbol, I could put it on the mole so it turns into a mole man? Is that- Does that actually happen? Uh, does he pull in- Does he turn into mole man? And hello, Mr. Prospector. Oh, be darn, you came across me early. Care for a game of chance? Pick a boulder, I'll break it. If it's gold, it's yours. All right, which one? Y'all pick. Cockroach, Mantis, Corpse Eaters. Yeah, I haven't really had time with uh, the Corpse Eaters. Um, I, haven't, I haven't had time to use it. Why does everyone want the right one? We picked the right one last time. I guess it kind of worked out, actually. The right one did work out. Middle, right. What are we thinking? Middle, middle, right, middle. Okay. Well, okay. You don't get three freaking... <laughs> you don't get a plus three because you keep saying right. Right, middle, right, middle. We're tied right now. Right in middle. Someone break it. Someone break the tie. Right or middle. You're playing it on your Switch right now. Hell yeah. Get it. Right is always right. Not always, but I digress. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going right. A cockroach. Um, I mean, that's... That's not terrible. Strange varmint. I didn't... You want it? Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. Giving uh, plus one power. That's okay. Alpha roach. That's okay. That's okay. All right. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. What's the mug of the day? Our mug of the day is... I shall show you. The Grand Tetons. There you go. The Grand Tetons of Wyoming. What you know about the Grand Tetons? Do you like the Grand Tetons? All right, and what are we sacrificing? I'm thinking the field mice. Um, I'm thinking the field mice because the porcupine is just a good card. Oh, oh, and two. Whoops. I should probably go back to the game here. There you go. Um, I'm thinking... Okay. 
One, the porcupine is a good card. Two, the porcupine is also one of the cards that I need for the picture frame. Um, have I ever been to Minnesota? What do you know about Minnesota? Uh, you gotta go watch the vid. Oh, you do need to go watch it. And yes, I did forget to switch back. Yes. Uh, you checked. Mole does turn into Mole Man. Yo, that's good to know. That's cool. You live in Minnesota, huh? Where are you in Minnesota? Field, field mice goat. Oh, field mice goat could be interesting. Uh, I mean, I was, I was thinking just the mole. I was thinking we could, we could buff up the mole to be just a freaking beast. That's just kind of why I was thinking the mole. I don't know. This is my thought process. This is going to be the mole run. Ant turns into Ant Queen. A possum is a, a comedy gold. What? You won't spoil it? Oh my god, what does the opossum turn into? <laughs> I think there are better sigils for them all. Well, yeah, but... Oh, if we add, if we sacrifice a symbol onto the mole, we cannot sacrifice a second sigil onto it. Right? Is that correct? So, like, if I do this now... He, I can't put another symbol on the mole, right? Because yeah, there would be, there would be. Yeah, I, I did see that. I, right, I'll, I'll get to your comment in a second. A person. Yeah. Okay. I. Okay. So maybe the black goat is the one to choose here. Because, yeah, I think there is better... You you guys are right. There is better sigils that I could put on the mole. Black goat? You think black goat? It's not a... It, no, it's definitely not a, bla a bad choice. Yeah, but there, there might be something better. Should we go black goat? Oh, a fledgling totem and Mothman evolves. It turns into final form. Ooh, I'm curious of what final form is. The wiki. Should I should I just put it on the black goat then? Are we think I'm black goat. I mean, I could put it on the porcupine, too. All right. Made the choice. Okay. Total metal. Let's go. Your birds move. Okay. You got some moving birds. I got the porcupine out. So. That's what gets you out. And then you can kill that bird the following turn. And I guess we'll pull this. There's our mole. Hmm. And I can't really do anything here. Okay. Am I gonna die? Oh my god, am I about to die? Hmm. 
No, no. Because what's going to happen here? I can take a squirrel, which I kind of have to. I'm going to take a squirrel. So these guys will do two damage. I can only take one. So... Because I, I have the rabbit pelt, so... Okay, I'm I'm still okay here. Um, but man, I am hanging on by a freaking thread. So he'll do the two damage necessary to counter their two damage. And then I'll block some damage with the rabbit pelt. Um, but man, is it freaking... Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking, ugh, what do I, god damn it, what do I do here? I'd ha I have to use the hook, I think. Do I have to use the hook? I think I do. I think I have to use the hook. Oh. Um. Final form is 8-5. Same look as the Mothman, just upgraded. Okay. Opossum gold. <laughs> opossum is comedy gold. Damn it, man. I want to know what the opossum... I'm probably never going to figure this out. Great white turns into greater white. Yeah. Cats and stuff. Hello. Hello, cats and stuff. But I'll be late for class. All right. Hey, no, hey, no worries. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, you think it's the same with most evolutions where it's just a unique name? Yeah, most of them are just called Elder. I do know that. Child 14 is a new one. Damn turns into goddamn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, my God. No. Ugh. I'm going to have to look that up. But first, I need to figure this out because I'm going to freaking die. Um, And this, uh, this is where the one damage would come into play. Because... Uh, what can I... Yeah, I, I have to use the fish hook here. Because there's nothing I could do. These guys fly. So there's nothing I can do to prevent the two damage. Or the one damage. That's going to do one damage. I can't prevent that. There's nothing I can play that could prevent that. Let go. Like, would this somehow prevent it? No. So we have to use the hook. We're using it early, but I don't have a choice. I actually, I could have, I could have just lost it and taken a candle hit, but yeah, I hooked the, yeah, you're going to bed. It's been fun. Yes. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we can tell you really want to know. I, I do really want to know. Um, you know what? At I'll I'll wait for this. At at the end of the stream, I'll look it up. I'll like pull it up and we'll look at it on stream. <laughs> um, but okay. So yeah, I had to pull that, and then yeah, I can't really I can't do anything else. Okay. And he does a one. And he's gonna die, but it'll be good because play the black coat, and then play the moose. Nice, and then yeah. I actually the cockroach. Actually, I think the cockroach would have actually saved me there. No, it wouldn't have. Never mind. I would not have. But okay. There we go. 
Ugh. Oh, I had to use an item. <laughs> Look at that. The first time ever. Okay. What do we want to buff? All these suck. <laughs> or it's... Uh, never mind. It's not buff. It's just picking a card. A worker ant. Well, that sucks. A one, two for one. Eh, it's not terrible. I guess it's just a stoat. Birds for the magpie? Ah! Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah, I should have. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Huh? <laughs> squirrel ball? Oh, the squirrel ball. I, yo, I remember the squirrel ball to where it moves. <laughs> It moves, but then, um, yeah, it drops a squirrel as it moves. Yo, that's a freaking awesome card. Um, but okay, what do we want? Reptiles? Reptiles move or reptiles swim? I don't like any of those. I don't like any of these. These suck. I hate this. This is dumb. These are dumb. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> yep. Bird head. Now we're on the same page. Um, I could get a new item. Um, is there is there anything that I would want to sacrifice? Not not really. I mean, the cockroach? Do I want to put unkillable on the mole? Or can I not sacrifice the cockroach because it already has this symbol on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's what kind of what I was thinking. So I can't even sacrifice it. So I don't think there's really anything that I would want to sacrifice. So, okay, let's go. Ah, boulder, that's dumb. Or the fan. <sighs> Probably the fan. Yeah. Play the fan. These kind of suck. Boulder's dumb. I'm going fan. All right. All right, Prospector, let's go. Yes. Let me know the fun fact. Oh, by the way, a person. Um, I was born and raised in Minnesota. So I do know about Minnesota. Hello. Hello, Mr. Prospector. Let's see. Pack mule and your coyote. You always start off with the same. Oh, what do I want to do here? I could get the moose buck out immediately, but do do I want to? I might. You know what? I could. Hmm. But do I want to? I think I will. I think I'm fine with this. Getting the moose buck out immediately. But now the question is where do I want to put him? So if I put him over here. here, right? He can't move here, so he's going to move here. Coyote will hit him. And he'll kill the coyote and move here. But then the pack mule will move away. Ah. I'm going to put him here. Hmm. 
There's a mole. Um, what is it? Uh, the long oak's internal name is Snelk. Snelk. Imagine a desert act with cactus, per place cards, sharp quills. Ooh, hey, that's a good idea. I like that idea, Loon. Moose buck, yeah, third, third spot, cockroach to his left, possible. No, because he'll push him. He'll push the cockroach, wherever the cockroach is, unless he's on the border. Huh. Um... Funny, I only have two bones out. Uh... Let's keep going regular cards for now. There's a porcupine. Let's leave uh, the moose buck out just to do some damage here. I'll just stay out here to beat people up as I draw cards. There's a rabbit pelt. Now the pack meal is going to move. Done this. There's my mole buddy. And the mole is going to move over here. Oh, that sucks. Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to catch the freaking pack mule, but <laughs> he's gonna keep getting away. Get back here! <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get the last one of these, I guess. The worker ant. I mean, do I want to just put out the worker ant? Or the, or the cockroach, I mean? Oh, I can't. I can't. I keep... Ugh. I only have two bones. I... I don't know, a dead coyote. And now, that's second phase. Damn it. Ugh. I mean, I think I'm still okay, though. I have this full hand. I think I'm going to be all right for a uh, second phase. So I'll lose the moose buck, but it's all right. It's all right. It sucks, though, that uh, the pack mule is still on the board. Yep, yep. All right. Yep. And there's his hand. Okay. And then... You know what? Does the alpha... No. Those those can't attack. I was wondering, hey, can the can the alpha cockroach can that buff gold nuggets so the gold nuggets can attack? But no, probably not. Um, but what do we want? We want the mole out, definitely. Let's get you out, buddy. And then who else? How many bones we got? Yeah, we got enough bones, so let's put you out. Alright. Almost dead. Okay. And now... That's a win. Alright. We got ourselves another victory. Let's just do this, just for fun. Boop. Okay. Nice. Here we go. Uh, wait, the alpha does buff gold? Does he actually? Check out the Discord video. Okay, uh, I'll check it out. Yes, I will not perish yet. Not yet. It does boost rocks and ferns. You know what, I probably, I probably should have just done it just to try it. Just to see. Uh, what's a gek with a red eye? What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Hey, no, I think I should pick the long elk. 
I think I, uh, I should go with the long elk, I think. Yeah? Come on, child 13. I have to I have to go with child 13 now. I think it's between long elk or child 13. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should go child 13. Okay. <laughs> Mole man? All right. Check your deck. Okay. Yes, you had climbed to the snow line. Let's check the deck. So does so does that mean he just like changes? Uh But how often does he change? And what do I want to do here? I probably just want to go with the cards here. Let's go this way. Hey, there's the cuckoo. Hello cuckoo. Pronghorn. And hey, our buddy the opossum. Uh, an egg is created on the opposite space. So I'm I I haven't tried the cuckoo, so I probably want to. I think I do want to just get the cuckoo. Yeah, cuckoo. Got a shapeshifter. Cuckoo. Got it. Okay. Now, did you change? Where is he? <gasps> he did. He did. He's now a porcupine. So it must be like every space that I move, he changes, huh? I don't know if I like that. But the cuckoo on Child 13 or Mothman. I will see. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? I will see. I perhaps. <laughs> uh okay. You really think I should sacrifice the cuckoo? Let's see, like what could I what could I buff here? Actually, this kind of sucks because I don't really have. I don't know. I think that I don't think I want to sacrifice the cuckoo. Just because of the flying with the egg. Maybe if I had a flying creature available, but I don't. So I think that's pretty good to ha to be able to block a space and then just always do one damage. By the way, let me know this. Um, does if I if I put an egg down, so say I put the cuckoo in front of where one of his cards already are, is it gonna push the card back? Is it gonna push one of his cards back? Does that happen? Or does the space in front of him have to be empty? So the space in front of the cuckoo has to be empty. Okay, only works on empty space. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess the only real thing is like putting the porcupine on something, which kind of sucks. I'm kind of sad by that, but I guess we just put it on the mole.
Uh, the cuckoo has a small chance of screwing you. How so? Oh, it can... Oh, yo, it can create... Yo, that would suck. A raven egg? Yo, that would suck. 10% chance. Yeah, that... Oh, dude, that's terrible. You know what? Here's, here's an option. What if I put it on the worker ant? I don't know. Or what if I put it on the moose buck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the magpie. Nah, I don't want to sacrifice you, my dude. I mean, I kind of have to, though. You know what? I don't have to. I can, I can sacrifice the cuckoo. How about I put the cuckoo on the mole? How about I do that? What if I put the cuckoo on the mole? I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do you mean, am I okay? <laughs> what? What? What is going on? Why Why don't you want me to sacrifice the cuckoo? <laughs> I mean, because he's going to get both sigils. I mean, I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it seems like. No, because it'll fly over. It'll give him both sigils, right? If I sacrifice the cuckoo, it'll give him the egg and the flying. This shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> this, this, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> We are now back to our regularly scheduled program. I don't know, maybe, okay, the mole is gonna lay eggs, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> okay. We have an egg laying mole here. <laughs> I mean, the porcupine is still good, but again, again, we're hoping maybe we can solve the picture puzzle. That's that's really the whole point of this. Hoping to solve the uh, picture puzzle. Okay, we got this immediately. Hmm. Well. Where should we put him? Maybe should we block the porcupine? I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can block the porcupine here. Or should we block one of the elks so we can make sure? I mean, I think it's going to die though. The elk fawns are going to die. That's okay. A broken egg. Okay. That's interesting. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Oop, oop. And I guess we'll do this. We'll get you out here buddy we'll get the freaking worker ant out here boop boop and then actually you're gonna die which is unfortunate um 
Guess we'll pull a regular one. Got a pelt. Okay. Another elk fun. Uh oh. I need my. Man, I need the freaking. Oh, I do have four. Oh. What do I do here? Okay, let's use the pelt to block some damage here. A rabbit! Oh, we got a rabbit. Buff the rabbit pelt. Let's not buff the rabbit pelt. Um... So we can kill the fawn. I'm waiting for the freaking black goat. Um... Okay. Get the freaking cockroach out of here. Oh, the fawn. Okay. Another rabbit. There we go. There's the black goat. That's what I've been waiting for. You know what? We might as well do this now. Let's do this now. Let's get you out. Excuse me? Ezrak? <laughs> what? Ezrak? The hell is this thing? Its true appearance is frightening, even to me. And he stops yo. He stops all attack. That's pretty awesome. Um, wow. Wow. What is that? Yo, like, what is this thing? Why does it have ponytails? And why does its mouth look like a vagina with teeth? And what, like, what, what is this? What is this thing? <laughs> what is this thing? From Wikipedia, you quote, In the Inuit religion, an Ijrak is a shape-shifting creature that is said to kidnap children. Oh, hide them away and abandon them. The Inuksigak of stone allow these children to find their way back if they can convince the Ijrak to let them go. Okay. That's creepy. All right. Wow. Well, and you know, I didn't even like, I didn't even notice. Oh, is this going to be an imposter then too? I didn't even notice it had red eyes. I just saw black goat and was like, oh yes, black goat. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> that freaking surprised me. Um, well, okay. Uh, all right. And we killed the rabbit. Um, well, guess, uh, oh, that's right. Yep, yep. Boop. And I like how, um, even though he was, well, he, she, it, it, we're just going to call it it. Um, it, it was nice. It was mimicking the black goat, but. Uh, it still duplicated a black goat, a regular black goat. Uh, so that's fun. <laughs> All right. I don't think you can tell it's the imposter until you play it. Oh, so it doesn't have the red eyes? Did it not have the red eyes? Okay, what do we got? A beaver. I don't think I like the beaver, the kingfisher. I don't know if I like the kingfisher either. Another cuckoo. Hey. I'll take another cuckoo. Let's go. 
And now, mycologist. I don't think I have any duplicates, do I? Unless... Is the imposter going to count as a duplicate card for one of my other cards? And you did just check it didn't it did not have the red eyes when you pulled it. Yo, that's that's kind of crazy. Yeah, and that and that red sigil does look pretty cool, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We did yeah, we did figure that out with the with the beaver. The sigils or the dams will get the sigil. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to assume that no. It's I won't be able to mycologist the imposter. Um, but again, my, my items are full. Alpha dams would be cool. That could be cool. Um, and there's the trader. I do have one pelt. I could go to the trader. And there's the fire as well. Oh, and that's a second mycologist. Honestly, I think we're just going to get a pack rat. We're just going to get another pack rat. You can't myco the... Okay, yeah. Awful, but... Hello, Mr. Pack Rat. Always useful. Okay. Totem battle. Wait, three, three different dupes? What? But well, watching someone play through this game feels more fun than playing it yourself. Your RNG is trash. <laughs> well, hello, DeltaBot. You are new to chat. Hello, hello, and welcome. Uh, I'm glad this can be entertaining. Dude, our RNG has been crazy today. Like, cra just all over the place. <laughs> Such that, um, like, you missed, uh, you missed the original run of our 017 ringworm because the campfires refused to eat the ringworm. So it became a 017. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's good or bad RNG. If you go to the Myco without any dupes, he'll give you a dupe of his own? Really? Yo, I did not know that. Oh. Two cuckoos. Huh. Huh. <laughs> So how do you tell? You just don't know. You just don't know. You really just don't know. Is there any way to tell? There's got to be some way to tell, right? Is it a perfect? It, do, it does look like a perfect copy. Yeah, I don't see... Yeah. It is a perfect copy. Bye. It, it was the ring wall. Yes. <laughs> uh, imagine if there's something, a card that spawns on the board extremely rarely. Perhaps Bigfoot. <laughs> a random Bigfoot. A random Bigfoot appears. Um, he's got a raven. Ooh, his birds have quills. Ooh, that sucks. I'm just now noticing that. That sucks. Um, well, we can block his raven. Let's do that. First one. Okay. You, sir. Go. Oh no, he's not going to fly over. Well, he is still going to kill the raven. And I'm pretty sure since the raven is in the back row, his quills are not going to activate. I think. I think. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well. All right. 
Let's, uh, let's go with cuckoo number two then. <laughs> uh, he didn't last long, that. That one didn't last long. Okay. And that was it. All right. Uh, well, let's go with the regular card. There's our cockroach, buddy. Uh, I can't play you, though, so I can't, yeah, I can't do anything. So, okay. We will just slowly, we will slowly take you out. Oh, now I played a card. Uh, what do we want to do here? I guess let's keep picking regular cards for now. Pack rat. Oh. Uh, let's do this. Let's play the rabbit pelt because I'll get my fourth. Um, when he kills it, I'll get my fourth. Um, yeah, bone. Now I got four bones. And then. Let's get a squirrel going here. Oh, and you know what? The mole is going to block. Okay, that's not... Terrible. Wait, can I win? I can. I can win right now. Let's do that. Boop. And... Might as well. Let's put the squirrel down there. Look at that. Boop. 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 That's a victory. Alpha buff. Yep. Oh my god, Loon. Are you just coming out with, like, random cards that we're gonna create? Yo, create some cards. <laughs> Go create some cards. Um. And, and yeah, that is interesting. That place the egg. Um. Yes, we could we could buff its HP. That could be a good idea. Um, are you glad you also never felt the pain of misclicking Aurobot during Act Three? Wait, did that happen? Over? Oh, you overcharged yours by accident? Oh, yo, that would be terrible. Hey, that's that's an interesting interaction, though. Um. Yo, actually, that's that's that would be pretty good for content. <laughs> you made the unkillable Aurobot killable. I would say that's an achievement. Big brain plays, exactly. PO3 misplay. Um okay. We can trade in our rabbit pelt. We only have one, but that's okay. Um, I got you one pelt, sir. Hair pelts. Ooh. I mean... Corpse eater. I mean, that's... That's good if we wanted to sacrifice that, especially on, um... Especially on our big boy. I forget his name. Our elk. Hmm. The elk fawn, I think, is a good choice here, too. Ah, uh, no. No, I do not. Do not send me a picture. <laughs> Fly me, boy, is best boy. Um. No, do not send it. I do not want to see pictures of the eye direct. Uh, what do we think? A corpse eater or or corpse maggot or elk fawn? Which one? I mean, you're you're all gonna say corpse maggots. I already know, but. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, I could, I could, I mean, I do have, you know what? Here's an option new. I, I could take the grizzly because I technically have two black goats. 
I mean, I technically have two black goats, and I only have one three-cost card. So, I could just take the mag or the grizzly. Looks like his eyes are starting to give me an anatomy part. Oh. <laughs> Loon. All right. I get it. So I was correct in my original description. I am still going, Mr. Saturn. I normally go four hours. Uh, we're at the three minute, 45, three hour, 45 minute mark. I'm going grizzly. All right, I'm going grizzly. All right, all right. Shut. Goobert? We probably want Goobert here, yeah? Hey, buddy. <laughs> here, here's, here's what you say. Um, when you, when you think I misplay, here's what you do. <laughs> so bad, so bad. <laughs> That's what you play. You have to be a member, though. You have to be a member to use those emojis. But you know, they're pretty cool. We can't abandon our... Uh, <laughs> you're too poor. Sorry. I'll just put it. I'll put it for you. That's what we'll do. <laughs> uh, boop and boop. There we go. Okay. We're going slimy, boy. But now, what do we want him to uh, duplicate? Trick game. Please. Allow me another chance. Absolutely. Mole? What do you think of the mole? Probably. The mole makes sense, yeah. And he can't, uh, he can't duplicate the, uh, Azurek. So I'm thinking probably the mole. Yeah. New roll? Uh-oh. It's a new roll. All right, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> ah, my dude. Why'd you make it a 2-2? Two -two? I tried my best. It's okay. It's okay, Goo Man. You know, a 2 2 is still, it's still okay. It's still a decent card. Um, yeah, it's immune to pretty much all campaign actions. Makes sense. What's your new world? Above comment, he reversed the sigil order. Did he? No, he didn't. Did he? No, he didn't. That's yeah, still the same. How does Goober hold the... Don't ask questions like that. Drug strat. Only play and choose cards based on cuteness over effectiveness and see how far you get. Nothing but total misplace. I mean... Might be able to do that. <laughs> Zenova is just going to say... In instead of failing to spell every time... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are we doing? We're having a fight. Okay. We're having a battle. And, well, we got his mole out. What do I want to block? We could block the wild mule. Or the wild bull. 
That could work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's block you. Boop. Alright. Boop. Oh! Oh, I forgot! Oh, he burrows. I forgot. Ugh. He's gonna die. No, actually, he won't die, because he's gonna fly over. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's not, uh, that's not a great combo on the mole. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do this, and I don't know. What are we... Hmm. What do we do here? Maybe I just don't do anything here. I can your car. Got a black coat. Because now... Now... Man, I can't do anything. I don't want to break the egg. I don't want to kill the fur. And he just put a rabbit in front of him. I don't want to do anything. 5.45? What's 5.45? Oh, wait. Oh, it's 5.45 a.m. And instead of sleeping, I'm here in a chat watching some cool dude. Hey! I like that. Play inscription while considering booting up yourself. Hey, you might as well. Get to it. Kill the porcupine with ant and cuckoo it again. Well, I can't kill the porcupine with the ant. I mean, yeah, so like, I don't want to kill anything right now. I don't want the elk to come down. Uh, let's see. Anyways, here we go. There's a grizzly. See, we can we can start doing some damage here now. So, put out the squirrel. Get the black goat out. Boop. And then, get the grizzly out. Put them, um, yeah. We're good putting them right there. Let's go. Boop. 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 That's fine. And now he'll kill the wild bull as well. So that's good. See? Good place. Uh, what do we want to do here, though? Let's just keep picking up cards here. There's a mole. Okay, I could... I don't, well, okay. I don't have anything to sacrifice, so I can't play that yet. But now I can. So I could put the mole down over here. Just to kind of do some damage. Oh, that's a win. Yeah, this is a win, so, alright. Yeah. We'll put him down here, and... There we go. That's a win. That's not a misplay. What are you talking about? Um, it is 9.45 for me. The bare necessities. The simple bare necessities. Uh, a shape shifted during trials in your favor, being card you have that's best for the situation. I mean, that would be nice. Um, oh, you put Undying on it? Yo. That's pretty nice. Cockroach. <laughs> I could duplicate, duplicate a cockroach, the wild bull. Or another black goat. Okay, well, actually, the cockroach is a good idea because that's obviously a great sigil. Yeah. No bull. No bull. Um. Huh. I do actually have a duplicate now, though. I have duplicate cockroaches, and I kind of don't want to duplicate them, though. I 
kind of don't want to. You know what? It wouldn't be terrible if it was duplicated. Because then it would just be a 2 2. An alpha 2 2. I mean, that's not. That's not bad. But if I go left, I'm going to get another pack rat. <laughs> like, do I really want another pack rat? And yeah, the 2 2 isn't bad. I mean, that could be decent. That could be decent. I don't like that it's four bones, but... Hmm. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go right. This is why you say you as item. Yeah, but, but, uh, like, I don't need to. I'm winning, and I don't need to. <laughs> A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature. Okay, enhance its health. Whose health do we want to enhance? I mean, do we just keep buffing the mole? What are we thinking? Buff the mole? Maybe, but what if we buff the cockroach? Buff the porcupine? And I don't see, I don't see the Ijurak, so we can't buff him. <laughs> Banned for not using it. Buff the slime mole, just to get him back to a 2-4 like the regular mole. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe the cockroach. But he is undying already, so does the... Does the 2-4 really matter? I don't know. No, that's... No. I just got that cockroach... Or... Yeah. I just got that cockroach. Obviously, the moles. We already have the two moles. Man, what if I buff the porcupine? I mean, that could, that could work, right? <gasps> You're right! There's two slime moles. How did that happen? <laughs> it wouldn't be this one, right? It couldn't be the it couldn't be the first one. It has to be the second one, right? victims okay um well I like the moles so I think yeah I think we'll just do a little just do a little buffsy here in this procedure it is grizzly look at my okay they're not victims they're not victims what oh I definitely done 
Exactly what I thought. And was the Ijarak buffed? It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. No. So it, it seems like we did not buff the Ijarak. Picked the wrong one. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Missed. Now the Trapper. The best song in the game. Let's go. Here we go. The Trapper sat hunched beside one of those traps, slowly cracking open. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. You shouldn't have come here. Hello, Trapper friend. All right. What do we want to do here? We don't care about the worker ants, right? We can just freaking kill the worker ants. Pack rat. Well, let's do this. Let's get the worker ant out. I don't care if the worker ant dies. Let's go. And then, um, you know what? Let's go... Okay, let's go regular card. Grizzly. And now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a squirrel. And then, we're gonna place that guy down and that guy down. And then, we're gonna take our pack rat here. And we're gonna put him over here. What do we get? Bones. Hey, that's not bad. Four bones. Um, four bones we'll be able to get uh, the cockroach out. Yo, their dual mask is very cool. Careful. Wait, why are we being careful? Why are we careful? You think I'm careful? Yo, by the way, yeah, this song, dude, best song. Best song ever. careful here. Uh, what is my favorite boss favorite scribe? I'll think about that. Favorite scribe, that's really hard. Favorite boss might be this guy, only because of the song. Squirrel then bear. Um, but the bear's gonna die immediately if I squirrel and bear. Here's the problem, though, is that... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose. Um, how do I... God, what can I do here? I can only take one damage, right? My worker ant's going to die. The pack rat's going to die. Ooh. Mm. I do. What do I do? Yeah, Grimora, yeah. Yeah, Grimora, yeah. Magnificus fight, dude, they all, they're all awesome. All of them are awesome. Oh, man. 
Like, what is a card that I could draw here? I could draw a black goat. A black goat would save me here. I almost, yeah, I almost have to... Damn. to do this. I don't have a choice. Because I'm going to lose otherwise. Damn. Actually, that worked out because he's going to... He should kill the trap and the adder. So that actually worked out. But, oh. And what would I would have... I would have had a porcupine. That wouldn't have... That wouldn't have done anything. Ugh. Oh no, I lost anyways! No way. Oh no. No way. How come he didn't attack the guy in the back? Ugh. I thought he would have overkilled too. So he actually positioned it perfectly to win. Ah, oh, no way. Man, that sucks. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the first loss, first defeat. Ugh. And the one, literally that one, that one tooth. <laughs> that one tooth was playing a huge role there. Ugh. Oh. Oh, by the way, we did learn, um, because I, I looked this up. The misplays are random. <laughs> it is, it is completely random. The game saying your misplays, it just picks a random number. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. Well. Damn. <laughs> well, you know what? Here's what we can do. <laughs> we can just play some nice, nice, soothing music. No new cards. Yeah, that's disappointing. That was that was the last boss, right? That was all we need to do was beat him. Yeah, all right. Dude, y'all you need to become a member. Yo. There you go. Actually, I can add um enough people have become members that I can add more emojis. So that is on my list. I am going to add some more emojis. Dude, I ain't flexing. <laughs> I made those. Like, I don't know. I guess I'm flexing because I made them. There you go. Got my cheers. My, uh, if you, if you saw the, uh, my papers, please play through, which I quite enjoyed. That's where that one's come. The professional. I probably should get a new Vegas emote, yeah. Music. I I agree. The music is very nice. Um, so bad, obviously. Everyone knows that one. So bad. And then the guitar sensor. My guitar sensor. I, I have no idea what the new Vegas emote would be, though. Oh, yes. The opossum. 
evolution. Let's see. It becomes an awesome opossum. Okay, let's... But what is an awesome opossum? I can't see what it is. Let's see. I must find an awesome opossum. Okay, you know what? I'll just look up. Awesome opossum. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? How come... How come I can't find a picture? Oh, is the awesome opossum just literally... It's just a 2-3? Like nothing changes? It's just a 2-3? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. It's just a 2-3. But, I mean, it is funny that it's an awesome opossum. That is that is good. I I like that. I like that. <laughs> the awesome opossum. That's nice. Um. Oh, my God. I'm getting, uh. I'm seeing a lot of things here. I'm like just browsing around here. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways. Uh, boop. Okay. You know what? We'll go back to this. Hello. Oh yeah. My favorite scribe. Hmm. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think it was a person gave us the breakdown on uh, what what the uh, um, the Isaac is. No, no, I do not. I'll look it up if I want to. Bad at the game. Made too many misplays. <laughs> And yes, the awesome opossum is awesome. It is quite awesome. Um, a favorite scribe. Okay, just as a scribe, just the scribe. Po three, think Po three is. He's he's hilarious. <laughs> and just the stoat I like I love the stoat just playing with the stoat that's that's great uh, uh well actually it's it might be Friday where you're at it's Thursday for me it's Thursday night for me but yes probably yes I think Thursdays f at least for a while it's gonna be we're gonna be doing this we're gonna be going through uh um, Casey's mod runs. So, yes. Okay. Okay, Delta Bot. Best quote. I, well, actually, I think, I think the best quote is still, you're just so bad. That's still my that's still my favorite quote. <laughs> that's why I have that. That's why I created that emoji. It's still my favorite. Talking smack to Leshy. <laughs> um Yep. Oh yeah, and the voice mod, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I have it written down. I have it on a I have it on a post-it right here. On a post-it. It's voice changer. Uh you need to make a lonely wizard emote. I don't wanna I mean I mean that could be good. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. Actually, how many let's see. Actually, I think I can only make one. I think I need one more member to get two more emojis. And I think I have one open slot for one more emoji. Let's see. Let me look. Uh, let's see. Boop. Emojis. Yes. Um, I have, I have a slot f to make one more emoji, which I can do, but I, I literally just need one more member and then I can add two emojis. So, uh, eh? 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 One more, one more member? Uno mas? Uno mas? <laughs> Um, I do have, um, I was kind of making some emotes. I did make a, <clears throat> um, let's see, or I'll pull one up. Um, I did make a... Um, a gold emote. Uh, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, can I? If I go here. Ooh, look at oh, look at that tunnel. Oh, that's a good tunnel right there. Uh, pop. Yep, there you go. So this was actually I was thinking about this as an emote. Um, just the g -g -g gold, the tunnel. Everybody loves the tunnel. The tunnel is for when we're done, though. We're not done yet. So I could use that as an emote. That's an option. Um, boop. But I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to use that one. My mule. I don't know, like maybe, maybe if I have like 10 options for emotes, maybe I'll put that one in there, but I don't, I don't know if it's, uh, because I'm so limited on slots, I feel like I need some very good emotes to start off with. I like all the ones I got right now. It deserves gold for being left in the void. I mean, the lonely wizard was... He was pretty good. Hey, I'm trying. Uh, I don't know. Like, what's what are good emotes? Like, I think the cheers is a good emote, just for saying hello and whatever. Totally not your favorite side character. Well, it clearly is. <laughs> Uh, the so bad. I like that one. That, that's still my favorite one. The guitar sensor. Like it's like the pissed off emoji. Yeah, the PO. I mean, that is that is literally the emote. That is the emote. Boop. I mean, look at his face. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, his face got the uh. I need to think about uh, emotes. 
because I do need to get another one going. Woodcarver. Oh yeah, the woodcarver was there. There, I mean, yeah, they were literally the last one. They were the very last one. D. Just D. Wait, last warning? Out of the deck and into the hand. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that's all of his, yeah, that's his lines, that's right. Stimulation! <laughs> that was, yeah, that's actually, that is one of my favorite lines. <laughs> that's right, yo. Stimulation! Yeah, that's that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Good fish. Yeah, that's yeah, there's there's so many good characters in the description. Ugh. Um, by the way though, before I go, um before I sign off here, uh we have there is a ton going on uh this week, obviously. Um, so Saturday, Sea of Thieves, if you are a Sea of Thieves fan, uh, we're going to be streaming and playing that all day Saturday because it's um, the community day, the Sea of Thieves community day. So they got tons of bonuses, like tons of gold rep bonuses, um, and a lot of people are going to be playing. It's going to be a, a freaking, it's always a crazy event. Um, so we're going to be doing that all day Saturday. And then uh, on Sunday, um, got the ultimate crisis for Warhammer Three. If you're into Warhammer Three, our uh, ultimate crisis is about to, is gonna hit on San, on Sunday, so that's gonna be really crazy. That was what our entire play, playthrough of Warhammer was leading up to, and the pinnacle is gonna be Thursday. Um, it's so strange that there's so few of us here. I like how personal it feels with the group here, but you really should have more viewers. Oh, well, thank you. Um, hey, well, we're growing. We are, we are growing. Um, I still feel like I'm fairly new. I mean, up until December, I had the inscription short pop off in like just before December. Or it was like right around, it was right around December 1st. We'll say December 1st. That was when the inscription uh, short popped off. So before that, like I didn't have any freaking subs. I, had, I think I had 500, maybe. But then I would do live streams and it was like two people. <laughs> so so uh, the channel is still fairly new. So we're growing, we're growing. We're doing it. We're doing it, but uh, yeah, I like how personal it is too, especially our little cooldowns. I tend to like doing like a stream cooldown where you can just sit and chat for a little bit. Cool down from inscription. Uh, your PO3 voice is your head cannon now. Yeah, yeah. Um, all I feel like all the voices, dude. I can't. I hate playing or like seeing stuff of the game. And like not having the voices there, that feels weird. And yeah, that yeah, that short has a lot of views. Um I mean it is it is awesome that it did pop off, but because it was a short, it's weird. Because I I I found out that shorts don't translate to like anything else. <laughs> or it's it's not a lot. Like you would think, oh, 3.2 million views. Wow, that's crazy. But those shorts viewers, uh, uh, most of those shorts viewers are not watching like my regular videos or these or in the live streams. Like obviously it's like the few of you here. <laughs> um, but obviously it's not a freaking million people. <laughs> like a million of those people are just like watching a short and then they like like and subscribe and then disappear or i don't know what's going on but <laughs> it's a whole di it's a whole different thing but either either way it's still cool that it's still bringing in like probably a lot of you found out about me because of the short so it's cool that's still bringing in some people 
Even if it's just like a few hundred of you. Hey, right on, right on. Yep. Yeah, I think it's probably most people was because of that short, which is cool. I will never say no to 3 million views. <laughs> Stimulation. Yeah. <laughs> You're just so bad. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, you've been trying to reach you about your car. Oh my God. You got me. You got me. <laughs> no took back next stream. I mean, well, the next stream is two days from now. Not even. Day and a half. Sea of Thieves. If you're into Sea of Thieves. That is something that um, I played for the first time on stream anyways. I've played a lot of Sea of Thieves. But I've never played it on the channel or anything like that. Or never even mentioned it on the channel. But I won a poll. I put up a poll like two weeks ago about, hey, what do y'all want to play on Thursday? And people voted for Sea of Thieves. I had five things listed. And people voted Sea of Thieves. We played Sea of Thieves. And uh, people were into it. So, <laughs> anyway, so I thought, yo, the community event. All right, let's get into the community event. Let's do the community event. Yeah, Saturday. Doing that all day. Um, will the next stream be before five? Well, I don't know what time zone you're in, but uh, Saturdays will be at noon for me. Pacific Standard Time, noon. So you can translate that with wherever you were at. Oh, and you're, uh, wait, you're in Minnesota, isn't that? Didn't you say you're in Minnesota? So you are two hours ahead of me. So, yeah. If I'm if I start at noon, then it would be at two for you. So yeah, it will be before five. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> something something. Bot is online. Um. I normally I shoot for four hours. Uh, the stream Saturday could possibly be like all day. That could be like an all day stream. It all depends on what we all do. What was my, what was the last one? The last Sea of Thieves stream. How long was it? Eight hours. So the last the last Sea of Thieves stream was that was my longest stream ever, I think. Almost. The Jackbox Christmas party stream. That was eight hours forty five minutes. But uh the last Sea of Thieves stream was eight hours. It it depending on how it goes, how everyone's uh if there's a bunch of interaction, if we're like just killing it on the seas. Um, yeah, we could stream all freaking day and night. And Sea of Thieves, you could definitely do that. You could definitely play Sea of Thieves all day and night. Easy. Oh, yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, I have it. I mean, actually, 10 seconds. Yeah, well, 10 seconds. That's about right. Probably, I bet you if you refresh the stream, it'll be even faster. But I think the delay is like between five and 10 seconds, probably. Yeah. Do you play? Do you play Sea of Thieves? If you do, you can definitely jump in on Saturday. I'm just going to be running with, running in a galleon and then just rotating people. We'll just play and rotate people in and out. Who's stream sniping? You stream sniping? And actually, too, uh, when you play Sea of Thieves, I get to see more. Uh, yes, you do get to see a lot of pomato. If you couldn't add something or change any aspect of inscription, 
What would it be? Like the ending? I'll describe some gameplay. I'm um, easy. I want Grimora and Mag uh, Magnificus. I want them to have an act. <laughs> Dude, I want to play an entire act of both of their whatever. They're like death chessboard interactions and then Magnificus's freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster thing. Dude, I want that. Absolutely. I mean, the mock system was... It was interesting. I feel like it would have to be fleshed out a little bit more, but it was interesting. Yo. I like that. Casey's mod, choose your own scribe. Yo. Grimora's mod. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to check out the mods too. That could be cool videos to make. Um, I don't know if I would live stream them, but that could be... What? Gonna make a sticky. Remora and Magnificus. Mods. Sticky. Stimulation. Glitch into the Act 2 start and select it from there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was kind of happening to me too. At the end. I mean, at the start I was doing well, but then like he was just killing my cards and I couldn't get the right cards. He was just He's just hitting me. Yeah, yeah, and I like that idea. You know what? I am gonna say, um, everyone here outside of a person, um, you all are not my normal um, chat people, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see all the. Uh, we had a lot of new faces today. A lot of new, well, at least a lot of new faces for me. A lot of people that I have not seen before. That's pretty cool. Good to see. Cool to see. This was a, this was a good stream. I like this. Oh, yeah. We're at the, for most of the time, yeah. For most of the time, we're sitting around 20 viewers. That's good. Dig it. I dig it. Uh, I saw you streaming on, on YouTube. Yep. Xbox. Ah. Oh, but you can't type in chat. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. Actually, okay. I do kind of like that. <laughs> Loon, I kind of like that. The donation chat. You know what? I'll I'll change it right now. <laughs> if you're gonna donate, I'll change it just for you. Cause right now I just have it as uh, Leo doing his ding ding stimulation. Mostly just watching inscription. Yep. To get to the last case amount, but Mr. Thankfully, I made it this time. Heal the you. Excellent. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of people. Well, because pretty much everyone came in from that short to watch inscription. So, um, I'm I've I've talked about this before, but God of War, it's obviously not performing well. Um, just because I think, just because God of War was obviously so freaking massive like everyone played that game and it's at this point it was at four months old five months old so people aren't really watching it however i love it and i'm going to continue it and finish it <laughs> uh but um once that's done i don't think i'm gonna add another game i think i'm gonna fully focus on new vegas and then just do the live streams but Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely finishing it. Absolutely. I was just saying, um, obviously, it's just not getting views. Like, it's only getting like 50 views or something like that. So, it's obviously, it doesn't perform well, but I love it. I'm going to continue it. I'm going to finish it. But, yeah. Anyways. Yes. Strat, for your next Casey's run, give me a give you a challenge. Hmm. A good challenge. I have I have some. I have some ideas. Rolling around my head. Ah, uh, the uh, yeah, the cute challenge is that is kind of interesting, but cute is uh, I don't know. A lot of things are cute. <laughs> yes, your bot is running. Uh, how about you have to you have to make your deck you have to try your best to only choose and only play with the elk cards only elk cards so like the fawns and the whatever the elks and whatever the deer only those only knows. <laughs> if a person chats, it ends. Yeah. Then we would... A deer run. Yeah, there you go. A deer run. Because those are... Dude, I hate them. Every, every card that moves, I hate them. I hate it. No, and yeah, and that's that's kind of why I was thinking it too, because no one, I don't use them. I don't like using them. <laughs> no one likes using those cards. That's that's why it would be kind of interesting just to see it. I still got the regular challenges to beat though, <laughs> instead of trying to come up with my own challenges. Cannot pull away from fire. As long as you have black coat, I don't think it's too bad. No? I don't know. I don't even... I mean, the black goat would definitely help. You'd probably have to have a black goat, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, you know what? I think it's about time to end it. But yes, thank you all for hanging out. We had all sorts of, uh, okay, I will check, I'll check the Discord after I uh, log off here. But, um, yes, yes, it is time. It is time. Uh, thank you all, though, for hanging out. All of you, yes, we'll get the tunnel. Um, yeah, we had a lot of new people coming in here and chatting. That's pretty awesome. But, um, yes, as I said, Saturday, we got Sea of Thieves all day. Sunday, then I finish up, uh, Warhammer, the Warhammer campaign. Actually, I probably won't be finished, but the Ultimate Crisis starts. So I'll be Sunday. And then, uh, next week, yeah, obviously more inscription. That'll happen Thursday. Casey's mod. Same time, same place. It's so bad. But, um, yeah, we'll leave it here for now. Thank you all. I'll leave you with the beautiful tunnel. Just look deep into the tunnel. Deep into the tunnel. 
How, how deep does it go? The world may never know. Absolutely, Delta Bot. And thank you all. Thank all of you for coming by and hanging out. Take care, everybody. And just because Earth Animator, <laughs> I haven't seen you. This is the first time I've seen you chat. So welcome, um, but I'm leaving now. <laughs> I'm going down the tunnel. So, um, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for chatting. I'm glad you like Inscription. I like Inscription too. We all like Inscription. But okay. All right, now I'm out for real. Goodbye.